Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. This video is going to be a challenge mode on Jurassic Park map on Jurassic difficulty. Now before we get started, I want to say a couple of things. First off, the scientists have a disloyal trait. Now this is something I haven't experienced before, but I have read up about it. So there's nothing you can physically do to prevent them from being more and more disloyal. The only thing you can do is to let them rest for longer. And I don't mean like uh, send them to the staff room rest, rest as in don't use them. And I find this a bit irritating because it's just going to prolong something even longer. Now, I did play this a little bit on medium mode, and I never really had a detrimental effect when it came to the disloyal trade, but I'm pretty sure on Jurassic difficulty, it's going to slap me in the face. The other one is some, uh, certain dinosaurs have the intelligent trait, and I will explain this once we get into the map. But if you have any questions at all, guys, just ask me. Always going to reply. Also, if you want to join the Discord group, then email me from the description, and I can get you hooked up in there, and we can help each other on various maps. Also, please, guys, smash that like button after you watch the video if you are enjoying the content really helps the channel so let's get into this okay here we go so what we're going to do straight off the bat is we are going to pause the game because <laughs> there's a lot to do before we even get started if you look at your quest down there main guest comfort 75 and dinosaurs have an average comfort of 90 percent and we're on 83 so let's have a look around here we're going to have mrs t-rex right there and let me explain this uh, intelligent trait if you go to the genetics there it says intelligent now this is something you can't control this will just happen naturally on certain dinosaurs. So if it does have the intelligent trait and you go to the, the satellite map, as you can see there, there's a big red area around them. So if this dinosaur was over here, the red area would come a little bit further and it would be out over here. What this means is any civilians or any other uh, herbivores or any other dinosaurs that this uh, T-Rex can eat will kind of activate him to break out. So no matter what your fence is or how powerful your fence is, well, the more powerful your fence just means it'll take him longer to break out, but it means that he will have a target over his head and he's going to break out of this enclosure and attack. So in essence, what this means is you've got to keep everything out of that circle of the red right there. And the only thing that doesn't matter are the tour rides. These tour rides can go in the paddocks. Now, it's not going to prevent them from smacking them around, but they won't uh, actually eat the guests and it won't be a detrimental effect. So that is the, the intelligent trait. The other one is, as you can see here, we're going to have some scientists and they have a disloyal trait. Like I was saying before, this just means it's going to take them longer to do, well, you have to wait longer. And every time I use one of these guys on the bottom right-hand corner, the little exclamation mark over there in the triangle, that is going to be your disaster. That's going to go up more and more and more, and eventually a disaster is going to occur, and that is... Uh, what you have to do or prevent when you're starting to get these calamities that start happening. So we're going to have a look around at our dinosaurs for starters. We want to see what we have. So I know for a fact that uh, these two cannot cohabitate. As you can see there, it dislikes the ceratopsid, which is what the, the, uh, uh, the, <laughs> the triceratops is. So what we're going to do straight off the bat, we're going to do a fence right across the center of this, preventing this from happening a bit later. Just like that. And uh, we're going to put a fence in there because uh, that's what we do. <laughs> okay, so these guys over here, uh, they're missing forest. We're just going to go around our animals here. And we're going to be just making sure they have enough of what they need. So as you can see here, this has the intelligent trait as well. So we've got to make sure we keep everything away from that. Uh, we're going to fill this with forest, thick forest, not the thin forest. Just so we can get that trait done. Because I think we're going to put some more guys in here. And uh, we're going to do it a bit over here as well, but we're going to keep this area open so the uh, the rangers can come over here and check on the outpost over there. So we'll do it this side as well. So there we go. Our forest is fine. And what else they need is prey. Let's get some live prey right over here. There we go. That's going to take care of that comfort. And we will do the assigning a bit later. So let's move over to this pen over here. This guy. Now, I'd, like I said, I did play this a little bit on the medium mode. And I know for a fact that the fact this guy has an intelligent trait, as you can see, and uh, you can see what's in the area of that intelligent trait are these parasaurolophus over here. So on my medium playthrough, I just left them there and they broke out continuously. So now I know that the Velociraptor is uh, not going to be a good thing to have between. And that's what they do. It's kind of like a learning curve. So what I want to do is bring this Velociraptor Maybe somewhere over here. I'm not sure if the T-Rex is going to be a problem. Obviously, he's not going to eat the T-Rex, but uh, I did attack it in the movie. So I'm either going to sell that or I'm just going to move it into a completely closed off area here and have uh, high fences and do a whole lot of raptors in there. I think that's probably where I'm leaning towards. The Parasaurolophus, let's have a look and see he's okay and make sure he's okay for quite a bit because we might put some more in there. Good. And then over here, 
we're going to have missing forest and tall nut for these guys. Let's have a look. So forest, tall fruit, tall leaf. There's tall nut. So let's start doing that like this. Right over there. Uh, we need a bit more, but we can't take away the forest either. And we can put ornithopods in there. We can do um, Gallimimus and Struthios in here. But it is going to make it more difficult to put more of the long necks in there. So as you can see here, now it's just forest. So we're going to head back to the thick forest. And we're going to put it in the corner over here. And we're going to make this thicker forest over here. And we're almost done. We just don't want to, don't want to put the forest in the place where the these guys are going to drive. Like over here, they're going to have to come around this bush. And it's just going to take longer. So straight off the bat, I want to come over here and take away just that. And as you can see, the, the forest is 82%, which is fine. I mean, I could just do a couple of little things like that. And I want to put the gate over there, which means this can be more forested over here. Let's move that gate straight away. It's something that can be done instantly. There we go. So, the Parasolophus is fine, and the Brachys are fine as well. So, they do want more water. I could do more water, because obviously the water can be doubled up. So, we can do a monstrous thing like that because it's not going to take away any of the vegetation, which is all good. Okay, so that's going to be fine for now. And what I'll do is I'll delete this fence once I move this raptor. So let's move over to Mrs. T-Rex over here. So she needs everything <laughs> over here. Um, I think what I'm going to do for the starters is just maintain their comfort, although I'm going to have to do the tour rides as well. And... Uh, I do the tour ride, I do one tour ride over here for all of these paddocks, and of course putting the tour ride in is going to take away some forest, which means I'm going to be wasting money if I do that first. So, let's uh, get a ranger team to repair that. That just seems like something that should be done. And all of these need to be done. So let's get the other ranger team and get them repairing what needs to be repaired. Like that. And like that. Anything else down here? No. So, that is good. Oh, we got one more here. Let's repair that. Then we can assign them to those outposts. So, for these guys down here, I want to put... I want to put guys in this... Oh, no, we don't want that one. Damn it, that was a bit of a waste of money. I want to put uh, the capture teams and the ranger station over here for these bottom sections because uh, we don't want them to have to go all the way down here to sort shit out that's happening down there. So... Let's have a look at starting the game. As you can see, the comfort's going up, going up, going up. Come on, smash it. 88. <laughs> so we're going to pause it there for a second. Yeah, these guys are 100%. She's missing forest. Okay, so I think what I will do is just get the prey and stuff, stuff that needs to happen. Uh, let's see. Let's get the prey over there. And you want some sand, that's fine. I can do these. I should have done this when I started. But uh, we can do the sand in the water. Just where the uh, tour guide can't go. And we can do a little bit more out here. Open space and forest. I don't really want to do forest because... I mean, I could do it down here. I'll do it along here slightly. Because the tour guide is going to have to go straight through there. And of course over here we can do it on the water. Let's see if that's enough. Won't be easy to contain them. Oh, and if that's not enough, we have some unhappy scientists on the payroll. Yeah, unhappy scientists that the fire them all, being the disloyal. Okay, so it's gone eighty-nine percent. I don't know what's wrong with these guys. He's hundred percent. Ah, okay, I don't do these ones. <laughs> okay, ground fruit and water. So let's have a look. Uh, let's do water first because we can do ground fruit on it. That's going to be enough water. And then we're going to have forest tall leaf ground fiber. They do want ground fiber as well. So let's get a little bit of ground fiber at the back. And uh, we need more ground fiber than that. So let's fill up all the water. And again, I'm going to have to redo this because when I put the tour ride in, like I was saying. Okay, ground fruit. Let's do a bit of ground fruit just to get that percentage up over here. But again, this has to be, they have to explore a bit more. So I'm just going to do this over here. It's going to get their percentage up a little bit. I just want to get that first mission out of the way. Uh, let's see if that's enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to pause it one more time and have a look at the Triceratops here. And ground fiber and water. So let's get the water in there first. And we'll do a massive one right there. More than enough. 
and ground fiber is going to be the second one we'll do it in the water as well and i think that the tour guides are ready here as you can see so we're just going to fill that up right there and that's going to make our mission complete on the bottom right and 175k income per minute is the next one so here's the intelligent traders just explaining what i was saying before uh high appeal oh i didn't realize that actually that they actually have a higher appeal so it is good because they they you know they're going to take more effort to look after so if they can see food guests or prey so food is guests or prey <laughs> they're going to break out so i'm gonna to have to do this very carefully because of my first playthrough and i didn't play all the way to the end i only played about two hours i had uh my t-rex breaking out all of the time because uh i had a pathway just too close and another thing is you can now have uh pathways these ones over here coming through and you can put these tour rides going over them like i've been wanting since the first day this was released so that's uh that helps a lot okay so we're gonna have a look down here and the park is actually open so what we need off the bat straight away again we're just gonna do some assigning here so the ranger team up there did i not oh he's going over there so that's fine he's got those covered so ranger one we're gonna add tasks we're gonna put him on no we're gonna put him onto that station and onto that station and onto the station then as well as the mvu we're going to assign as well to the same three so that one there that one there and that one there so i don't really like assigning the helicopter the capture team to these as well because if a, a ranger team comes in here and he's going to trank a dinosaur then the helicopter comes in straight away if they even get close and tranks them now i don't know because if you normally trank a dinosaur uh, it stops the appeal rating but because when they are automatically tranked by these helicopters uh, it only tranks them for like a minute so in actual fact i should just do it um, just to protect certain uh, vehicles and uh, i might turn that off at a later stage but uh, for now we'll do that now we've got to get the income coming so if we have a look over here we can see our guests are zero so we're gonna have to let some time pass here at the same time i want to get rid of the, uh, the velociraptors from there because the second these guys go close to that fence it's going to be game over so let's just fast forward a bit here get everything repaired we have a science center we're going to need to hire some more scientists in a second but i just want to see what needs to happen first and let's just see about research here kind of want to do the this one first extraction capacity and that's going to cost a million to do though so it's either that or the first staff center let's get some guests going in here and then some amenities my first amenities were right down here oh there are amenities here but uh, we're not going to be able to make a profit of these the first thing you want to do here is make these empty because they are going to dilute the actual cause of what we need to do here so if we have a look at uh, korean barbecue nothing's going to go up on the bottom left because there's technically no guests so we definitely want to take away everything that's on these to make it as little as possible and then we'll keep it going wow i think that must have been my resident evil 7 disc coming through the front door so i can get my ps5 upgrade and i popped three three platinums and about 100 trophies in five minutes <laughs> with the ps5 upgrades okay so maintain guest comfort four of 75 so obviously what we have to do here is do things like the toilets and that's going to show us red right there we can do a toilet over here because we're going to be putting eventually large amenities right there and of course the emergency bunker we're going to put over here somewhere keeping it away from the right hand side and it looks like we're going to need some power there as well so that was unfortunate i probably could have just put that can i move this building i cannot uh can i dismantle it i can let's put it somewhere where i don't have to build another one not something i would normally do but uh something tells me this is going to start getting very tight <laughs> So we're going to do him right at the end over there, or even here. No, there's a bathroom there. Let's do it this side. And of course, we need to get a, get a hotel up straight away. Now, the hotel, you kind of want to put a, in view of the dinosaurs, but it's definitely not always going to be the case. And I'm going to put another tour ride over here, somewhere down here, actually. Mm, I wonder if I could just do one hotel here. I'm just going to do one hotel over here for now. And the next ones I'll, I'll make in a better viewing area. Or oh, I could actually go down here. Let's get one hidden in the back here. Yeah, I can do a pathway through there, but I want to do it this way, actually. No, I'm not. Let's do it right there. 
and we're going to get our pathway coming through the center of these guys which will most likely have to be moved a bit later we're going to fast forward this keeping a close eye on our guest comfort down there so we have korean barbecue coffee and we're going to need another one shopping and we're going to slot that down right there just so we have that percentage going up on the bottom right over there and we're going to fast forward that as well now, it's very difficult for me to do this because the sound is so low and i just can't figure out how to get the headphones working with the commentary so i'm relying solely on visual aid of what's going on now i know the velociraptor itself cannot uh, be on his own he needs a partner let's have a look here ignore reports lose 100k small hotel one sabotaged yeah we can do that that's fine all we're gonna do is unsabotage it i like to have one ranger guy at the base all the time uh, for like emergencies and for repairing and then the other ranger team is the one that actually gets assigned to the posts there's something i like doing okay so 41 of 75 we're just going to see this once this is rebooted what that percentage goes up to on the bottom right there come on a little bit better 75 75 there we go so now we need income 175 so if we get oh was that a profit oh my goodness was a profit so we're going to pause that right there and we're now going to configure so six thousand is the winner that's good now so we got seven six is the winner so far seven six is the same okay seven six it is didn't expect it to be this quick eight three eight three forty is the winner there we go mr fish tank oh look at that goes up again nine thousand is the winner and yep nine seven eight i did not expect those to be making a profit straight away coffee uh four four is the highest so far we'll leave that as it is uh six two six two eight is the highest six two four six okay so six two eight is the highest there let's keep going down eight zero five eight zero five four is going to be the highest let's have you that's a good start actually and nine six is the highest i'm going to go back to nine six look at that we will have it you can also randomize this now if you push right once you see randomize all and you do that and i was wondering why those ones weren't randomizing because it's only going to randomize all of the uh the food shops if you're on the food or the clothing shop if you're on the on the clothing but uh we, we still paused action figures uh hats are normally the best ones here so one eight dinosaur adoptions one eight is hats two eight is key rings key rings are the winners so two eight nine three eight is the highest so far three eight three eight three eight this is a good start actually this didn't even happen on the other playthrough and four five is the only one that's going to get a profit here do we do, do we have another one yep yeah, we do five two six look at that okay that's that's just awesome that's going to increase our profit up there on the bottom right we need 175 and we're on 118 so far now again i have to make a decision on these raptors um i am actually technically getting income now even though it is seven thousand i have to create a dinosaur can i do it actually do a velociraptor i can do one it's not going to be a full 100 percent genome but if it's just to make this one happy and have that have that appeal in my park without having to sell him i have to make a decision do i sell him now or do i create another one and just put him in a new paddock I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards a new paddock but i am going to do one quick save game here okay guys so i loaded my game and i must not create another one and i'll explain why because the scientists that i have hired i literally don't have enough welfare because i need the logistics to actually get more genomes so i went for the logistics so if we're going to come over here i have faster research faster extraction cheap expeditions the welfare specialist is what i want but at the moment, uh, I think it's changed. They're genetic specialists. I need genetics to start the game. So we're going to have genetics. And then we have over here, cheap incubation, motivated, and cheaper research is what we want at the start of the game. And she's also got eight logistics in the end. So we're going to take those two. Now, the reason why I'm going to, or I've decided to sell this dinosaur is because I actually have to have 1.5 stars in the park to actually be able to research the next staff center to actually have enough skill to even create a velociraptor so i went forward about 20 minutes and i've come back and decided that i'm going to be selling this guy add task there we go and we're going to sell him and have i done my 
no i haven't done these yet so i might have just fast forwarded i've already done this but uh, just for continuity we're going to make sure we take away all of these and we're now going to configure so six thousand is the winner that's good now so we got seven six is the winner so far seven six is the same okay seven six it is didn't expect it to be this quick eight three eight three forty is the winner there we go mr fish tank oh look at that goes up again nine thousand is the winner and yep nine seven eight i did not expect those to be making a profit straight away coffee uh four four is the highest so far we'll leave that as it is uh six two six two eight is the highest six two four six okay so six two eight is the highest there let's keep going down eight zero five eight zero five four is going to be the highest let's have you that's a good start actually and nine six is the highest i'm going to go back to nine six look at that we will have it you can also randomize this now if you push right once you see randomize all and you do that and i was wondering why those ones weren't randomizing because it's only going to randomize all of the uh the food shops if you're on the food or the clothing shop if you're on the on the clothing but uh we, we still paused action figures uh hats are normally the best ones here so one eight dinosaur adoptions one eight is hats two eight is key rings key rings are the winners so two eight nine three eight is the highest so far three eight three eight three eight this is a good start actually this didn't even happen on the other playthrough and four five is the only one that's going to get a profit here do we do, do we have another one yep yeah, we do five two six look at that okay that's that's just awesome and um what i want to do is be sure to have no path coming over here if i put a path down here then all the guests are going to come over here and they're going to miss all these amenities and that's what i don't want i want to funnel the guests through this area through over here and then create another little village is what i call it down here so be sure to not create another path over here until we have some profit going so we're going to unpause and we have no power for reason so uh, i just need to figure out what i want to do next so we're going to sell him which is fine then after that we've got paris and uh, we just need some guests to come in so i'm going to let some time go past here we need 100 we've got 133 of 175 okay so we're going to fast forward a bit here to get some guests coming in let's see if we do have any guests we have 241 guests which is good okay so we're going to definitely stop fast forwarding now we're going to pause okay so we're coming up to our profit per minute we've got our shops going nicely we can almost do a bigger shop there but the next thing we have to do in a big way shape and form is to get some tour rides going now i could just use you see now that the the mission's gone just to get five stars there's no more like little missions in between as far as i know so i want to make sure i can't do a contract oh, it costs me money to do a contract i didn't realize that but this is where you can get a lot of money quickly build amenities so we're going to do that but at the moment i just want to extend the tour ride now you know what i think i'm going to do that i think for now we're going to get something that just does automatically we're going to go for get more tickets money makes the and that's something that's just going to happen automatically so again we're going to be pausing quite a bit of this there's only like four minutes of the game gone but this is how it's going to work we're going to keep a path and i'm always going to stay this way guys i'm never going to have my camera like this so you know where everything is all the time so we're going to have this pathway right here and we're going to have it coming through but keeping away from this paddock because that guy's intelligent she is an intelligent girl so we're going to keep to this side over here and we're going to kind of stop somewhere over here because we're going to build it stuff over here but again we have to keep the distance so as you can see i don't know if she moves closer to the fence if this red line is going to extend further i think maybe that red line is kind of like the permanent that's as far as she can go so pretty much over here is where i'm going to stay away from so thinking about it now i could actually give myself a little bit of help and say that's the line i can go to using the trees as like a visual aid <laughs> i like that anyway i'll probably double check anyway okay so what we have to do now is we're going to get some tour ride up here and we're going to start off coming through this paddock but we are going to come all the way down here all the way and we want to go behind this water uh because potentially something that we're going to be blocking off from the dinosaurs so they don't continuously get attacked 
So we're going to take away some water at the back of this, even if I have enough money to do it. And it's not something I've done before where I want to keep the, the tour ride separate because you kind of want them close as possible. So we're going to sell this poor fellow right here, <clears throat> push square, and he's gone. Then straight off the bat, um, I could either extend this paddock. You know, I could potentially extend it. Well, I can extend it that way as well as this way. But I think for now, I just want to get the the park up and running and get some more amenities. If I have more amenities out, then that is just going to increase the profits. And uh, we need to make sure this water is not going to be in the way, not getting rid of too much of it. And of course, putting the amenities, uh, putting the park tours down is going to uh, create issues with the trees and stuff you've got there already. So here we go. We're going to put the first tour about there. Or we want to come more this way. And uh, we're going to start the track on concrete track. And I never used the gates. Let's, can I use the gate? Sure, why not? Let's use the concrete track. And we're going to, it's going to say it's too sharp a curve. Check. Oh, good. Let's join existing track. Oh, there we go. It's in water. Okay, so I might fast forward this kind of thing. Uh, let's get as small as we can and get rid of that water. Now, the only way we can get to the track again is to go to attractions, attraction, that's funny. Back to that. And we're going to come all the way through. As you can see, the track doesn't cost too much. Um, can I just switch to gate and keep, you see, it should be able to fix, fix the gate. I've never used those gates before, ever. But I thought, what the hell about, you know? Now, we could stop right there. We're just going to do one more. Um, okay, that was a little bit weird. I'm going to come through here. And uh, what we do is we just extend the track when it comes down to it. But you kind of want to weave because you want them to be able to see all the areas. Kind of like this. Because if they cannot see, then they cannot see. So let's start going in this direction so the curve's not too bad. Now we've got to be careful because we've got water there. I am going to extend this paddock. So let me do that right now. We're going to get that other fence going. Just over here. Come on. We're going to start the straight. Up we go. Curvature. And we're going to come all the way down here. And we're going to get rid of this. I never used this pathway down here. Just wanted to extend this rather. So then, yeah, back on defenses. Good. And uh, we can make this even bigger because we want to... We're going to be having a lot of dinos in here. There we go. So we'll let that build up before we continue the track. So I can delete this and I won't be charged for doing fences. So we come all the way around here. Get through there, come all the way back and connect there. Sounds good to me. And I've got to make sure I'm continuously checking what's happening because, like I said, I don't have a lot of sound here or any sound. And we want this fence to be built. Fast forward. Reach ticket sell 75,000. I'm on zero because oh, I haven't unpaused it once. Okay, so. Let's just have a quick look at the, we need accommodation potentially, the guest. So 68 on shelter coverage, restroom is fine. So okay, so we need technically, not attractions, we need shelter. And that's going to be, yeah, we don't even go down there yet. Okay, it doesn't tell me I want shelter just yet. Restroom coverage, we're going to have over there. So we're going to pause, no, we're not going to pause yet. We're going to fast forward. Wait for this fence to be completed. Then we're going to pause. Then the first thing we're going to do is go to settings. We're going to go to gameplay. We're going to go all the way down to time of day. And we're going to make that daytime because it makes for much better viewing. Then we are going to delete this fence. Toodle ooze. Uh, we don't necessarily want to delete this fence when we could use it elsewhere. So we're going to move it just for the hell of it. The ease of access is always a good thing. Um, we have a guy over there. Do I want to put one over there? I think, yeah, let's put it right there. Then, if we click on this fella again, we're going to go down to edit tour route, and we're going to move once across to the concrete track. No idea what it means to have a concrete track. It doesn't give you an explanation as far as I know. 
we're going to come all the way around the outside and then come back through here. And as you can see, it's taking away forests and stuff like that. And we want to do a little bit of a inside scoop here. And we're going to have to make sure we check the dinos again. Let's uh, unpause it for a second, fast forward for a couple of seconds and go back to pause. As you can see here, 93%. They need forest and tall nut. So the forest is going to be fine um, once they get over here. And the thick forest I like to use on the edges, kind of where the ranger teams are never going to go. And here we go. We're going to keep doing forest in these corners and maybe over there. Then we want tall nut, which is going to be down here. Uh, tall nut, there we go. And when they decide to expand their horizons, they will come down here and do exactly that. So, far to 27, so that's going to be fine. Let's have a look at the Parasaurolophus. He's fine. So, that's a good start. Now, we need guests to come down here and start using the sucker. So, again, straight away, we're going to make it as many as we can. Because it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a very long route. And I'm liking those gates. That's pretty cool. How much does it cost for the gates? Because I want them everywhere now. Uh, edit route. Uh, let's go on to gates. Can we put a gate down? Can we? Oh, come on. It's not going to let me do it. I'll do it next time. I do like the look of them though. They're, <laughs> they're pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to play reluctantly. Improved amenities. So again, I want to put large amenities here. But at the same time, I need another tour route. Oh, that's what I did last time. I connected these tour routes up straight through there which I think is a good idea. I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to delete this track there and delete this track there and maybe that one there. And we're going to come and we're going to make this tour route because now I will show you we can actually go over paths and that is just fantastical. So we're going to come down somewhere over here. Let's do that. And then bang, we can now cross that road and we're going to take the tour guide all the way over here get him in there now at this point um the t-rex was just going mad so i think what i want to try and do this time is stick as close as i can to the fence like this and actually put it separate uh put it separate from the actual t-rex if i keep going around and I'll, I'll explain what i mean in a second actually putting a fence blocking it and so the t-rex technically can't even get to it Come on, let's go there and you in water. This is an experiment. I've never done this before. But uh, if it means not having to stop this guy from destroying everything, because uh, he'll he'll mess up one of the uh, the tour rides, and then that tour ride will get stuck, and then they all get jammed up. So we're going to see if this works. We're going to put him over there. And also it might actually help with the, the potential breaking out. And then over here, we're actually going to have to come out a bit so we can get our, our tour ride going back there. And we're going to stick as close as we can to this side of the fence. And we're going to come through here again. I wonder if there's going to be enough space to do that. And here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Again, we're going to stick close to the fence here, trying to keep as much of the forest intact. And Bob's your uncle. We are done and dusted. Now, we are covered there. So what I wanted to do, what I was talking about is even just have the smallest fence possible that isn't electric and kind of do this. And again, this is learning curve. Oh, come on, let me do that. We're going to have to get very close. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this because they're complaining about something. Amenities, come on, just let me do that. I really want this to work. Because it seems like a good way stopping this T-Rex from continuously murderating my my tour ride but it wants me just to do that all the time what if I go a bit further straight yeah I think straight line is going to work better here oh that was a good one right there oh, it looks like if I, oh, if I put it out as far as I can go it doesn't it seems to do that less but uh, come on let me get that circle going in there I hope this does work because uh, I spent a lot of time on my previous play stopping this sucker from destroying everything that I had built Let's see if we can get another curvature going in there. Yep. Uh, too much curvature. Let's go straight. It's not going to be pretty, but if it means if I can have more than one T-Rex in here, then I'm going to do it. And we're going to close it off right there. 
Okay, so that's something I haven't done before. And uh, we're going to see how much they can view. Because last time I had my path coming right through the center. And he was just destroying them all the time. But I'm actually liking that. So I'm going to pause one more time. I'm going to go to my management views. No, I'm not. I'm going to go to my guests. Um, shelter, restroom. So that, that's just hit a glitch. It does this sometimes where that isn't a, an accurate portrayal of what's happening here. I have to just let the game go for a bit. And over here, see, it's just gone down to nothing. It's because I mess with the path or I do something, but that little click back in a second. If I fast forward this, come on, click, you bastard. I did this last time on my other playthrough and I was very pissed off. I, I couldn't tell you why. It must mean something to do because I'd moved something or stopped a pathway or, I mean, it didn't take this long last time, but uh, I'm going to have to see because if you go to shelter coverage, as you can see, it needs shelter coverage there, but there's no amenities or anything here. So it is something I'm going to have to build at some point. And I'm obviously losing money as we speak here. So we're going to do shelter coverage right now. We need to kind of connect to that one. So we're going to need one over here somewhere. And then we're going to need a bathroom at the same place. Might as well use that. You know what? I don't like it there. Let's take that away. <laughs> And we're going to put a bathroom right there. And that's going to increase it. We come back over here. I don't know why it's doing this. Come on, go back to profit, man. I was doing so well. If you look over here, I'm going to be in the negative. 71k in the negative. It shouldn't be taking this long. I definitely did this last time I played. And it just came right. Oh, okay, I was wondering if I, those guys could still get in there. Contracts have refreshed. Well... Can't do anything if this doesn't come right. Come on. So now we have that done. And here we go. Now it's moving forward. Phew. It was probably just I needed these things down here. And I'm going to need more further down. But before I do that, I want to build the amenities. And I'm kind of thinking towards... Yeah, I just need this to be profitable again. 55,000. So this is... Let's fast forward. 117, 127. Go on, go up. Yeah, we go. Okay, it's going up. That's all we want. I and mean, we haven't even even looked at the side yet. But uh, the thing with this, um, I'm going to build more guys down here. And what I should actually do now is actually use my second ranger team that's sitting at the base to actually start doing this. This is what I should have done before, is to get the ranger team to look at these guys. And I'm going to have to build another... Outpost for these guys right there and get the second ranger team again to check these so uh, if they get sick or something And the MVU unit as well. The MVU will only come here if it detects a sick animal, so it's not going to patrol Which is uh, very useful Tasks are full Are you you have one two three and then four so I feel we're gonna take one off there and We're gonna put you on there we just got to keep a manual check on that. That's good. We're going to save our game again here. And we're going to do it under three. Go. Right. So let's unpause. And uh, see, it's, it says a oh, luxury guest type. <laughs> I didn't read that. I didn't care about this. See, now we're on 200. Bang. Straight away, we need the bigger amenities. The bigger amenities we have, the more... Uh, profit per minute we're going to be able to get so right over there medium amenities 200k now I can potentially do it because I have cheaper research there we go um, and again you want to use as little scientists as possible so I might as well use faster and cheaper research right there and we're going to fast forward we're going to keep it fast forwarding oh excuse me and we're going to have a look at the oh look at that Definitely park rating achieved off. one Great star effort. and we're going to have a look over here so 74 and, and 84 on the restroom and shelter coverage, which means it's just over here. But I'm waiting for the medium amenities. The second I put the medium amenities down here, I want them to be cruising. And we're going to put uh, platforms, distant platforms, and uh, that kind of thing from over here, where the uh, the tour ride over here is going to be the main attraction. Someone cannot route to his destination. Uh, this was happening last time. He said he couldn't get somewhere, but it doesn't make sense. There's a gate right there. I'm going to pause this as well because I need to do amenities. No, I need money as well, so I'll leave it. There's gates over here, gates over there. I mean, they can use those gates, right? You know what? I'm just going to 
put a gate here for the hell of it. I'm pretty sure they can use those gates. But uh, he's complaining he can't get somewhere. I think last time as well I had to move those trees. But we'll see. Uh, I just want to check my profit per minute is 59. Any profit per minute now is going to be a good one. Uh, this is why it's not good to have them going a, a large distance. Because uh, we're just going to have to fill up every time. They're going to have to be full at some point. Okay, so for starters, we have food and drink and shopping. Everything's full. So before we actually do the medium amenity, normally I would delete the shop or something like that. But for the time being, because I can fit one in over here, I'm going to build the amenity then delete this because it's going to you know just reduce that little window where i'm not earning any cash and otherwise everyone's okay everyone is cool by the said pool speaking of pool it's 32 degrees today the hottest day of the year my hands are resting on my lap and it's just i'm dripping with sweat already it's bloody awesome okay he's going to be done in five seconds four three two one go so we're going to pause that for a second so there's action figures and this is keyring. So we want, I've never done this before, but having a look, key rings, charity boxes, selfie spot, and sunglass stand. So the first thing we're going to do is delete that shop, Toodle Ooze. Then we're going to go key rings, and we're going to see if this is the, the best one to do. Oh, there's no key rings. At least there is. Key rings. There's a whole lot more to do. So let me just do it the normal way. I want to fast forward. All the guys are going to be in this shop now. A little bit more fast forward, a little bit more fast forward. And then we can pause and do our tricks. So key rings, I think we, uh, no, we have dinosaur adoptions at 3,000, 378. So we have three and then 378, 330. So three leisure wear. This might change. 4,000 for the key ring. Uh, charity boxes are 46, 46. Do we have 46? We have 48 at fossil display, 55 in for information. Infotainment, sorry, I had to read that again. 5-5, five, five, we have 6-3 on Photo Booth. Photo Booth is going to take the win. Photo Booth takes the win. Where are you? There you are. 6-3. Uh, what do we have? 8-4. Eight, 8-4 four. Eight, four is the winner. 8-4-3. Go all the way down. 8-4-3. Yep. 8-4-3. Next up, we have... That might be all of it until some more guys come. So 853, we have a selfie spot. 8532. 8532 seems to be it. We'll go to the first 85. There you are. And that's most likely going to be done. Yeah, these ones are down the bottom. Okay. Go. Now, when this guy's gone, we can then put in some chow over here. Medium amenity, food. And I did enjoy the fact that. Again, this kind of playthrough. Once you once you know how to use these amenities and where to put them and how how to like how to use them properly, they don't become a bother. Whereas the first tutorials I was doing, I was like, oh, this game should be called amenity and management. But maybe they've tweaked them, or they probably definitely have tweaked them. But uh, to do it the way I'm doing it here is the best way to do it. If you have a spot to build before you delete it, then do that. So whoop, they go running across out of there. It'd be cool if you saw them and go ah, run out of there and go into there. But as you can see here. We have a profit going there straight away and we're going to delete this one and again it's not entertaining you know doing this the whole time but once you do this once then they're done and then you come back half an hour an hour later and you put the large amenities in there let's go a bit longer there we go so we're going to pause while we do this so the numbers don't move let's see we have one eight on donuts and falafels five one on korean barbecue five one is going to be the winner there we go next up we have five five on aquarium 6-2 on fossil display and fossil 6-9 on skeleton display. I remember they did enjoy that skeleton, skeletal display. Skeleton display. Okay, go, <clears throat> excuse me, going down the list again. We're going to have... That's the highest one so far. We'll come back to him. So he's got 135, 152. And that's going to increase our profit per minute. And then we're going to put drinks right over here as well. And then we're done with the amenities and we start focusing on other things. Well, not done straight away, but uh, you know what I mean. Start doing another little uh, village over here. And the second we have six amenities up and running, then our money is going to go up a lot better. 71k. Let's just see. They're still going to want the uh, 66 and 51 shelter and accommodation. So let's get the accommodation going because that's not something I've built yet. Small hotel. We're going to put him right over here. That's why I have this gap. Just so he can be 
You know what? I want to do this. Get him as close as we can to that fence to see dinosaurs there. Just like that. And of course, there's no predators there, so there's no intelligent trait to worry about. Uh, we're going to put this right against the edge. Just so we can have some stuff built in the middle here. And we're going to need electricity at some point, so let's let's uh, fast forward so we can get some more cash flow here. And there we go. We're going to delete. Oh wait, bottled water. Hold on. We have what is this? This is the small amenity. So that's the drink, and that's the drink. So we want to delete this one. Toodles. And then we're going to fast forward slightly just to get some guys coming in here. There we go. And pause. And here we go. One more time with the amenities, and we can get cracking on building our park. Uh, we have 2-2 two, two on smoothies. Oh, I could go for a smoothie now. Damn. 2-5 on charity boxes. 2-7 claw machine. 2-8 on fossil display. 2-8 fossil display. 3-2 on photo booth takes the win. 3-7 charity boxes. Charity boxes for the win. Yep. There you are. Might not be the only one until I get some more guys in here. Yep. Let's uh, unpause and we'll come back and check those in a couple of minutes. Um... We're going to be fast forwarding now. Large hotel, great. I get a large hotel the second I've just built one. So 42,000 a minute we're getting there. Uh, we're going to get this built up because... There we go. Oh, tax will be deducted from income above this threshold. Didn't know that. That's news to me. Not, you know, not ideal news. But <laughs> news nonetheless. We're going to put this over here because we're going to put a lot of things in this kind of area. That's why I've made a, a corner like that. So you can have more things surrounding this. Uh, then we're going to be... Well... What's obstructed? By standard path. What do you mean? We're going to zigzag across the paths like I always like doing. So from here we go over the path to this side of the path. Just to utilize space. And then bang. Now we have accommodation rating. You see the rating went up to 1.4 stars from 1.1. Okay, so guest appeal. We just need shelter and restroom coverage as well. And once that's done, then we can focus on the other things. So restroom will probably fit over there. The, this we're going to put close because we're going to have some pathways coming down here. We want to put this right at the edge over here. And the restroom has got a much wider berth. So we're going to put him over here as well. And our pathway is going to come through here. And this is, again, where we're going to put our, our main thoroughfare. Uh, this one's going to be straight, but uh, I need to know how far away from that uh, paddock to build this. Okay, so let's fast forward again here, quick sticks. We're going to wait for these two to be built. Then I want to pause one more time and just one more time double check these amenities because this is where the money is coming from. Okay, 13. Do we have some more guys, more takers? I already thought we would. Let's go to the next one, 16, 8. Do we have any takers? No, so that looks like... I don't like the fact that you go down to the bottom, it has what's equipped. Anyway, you know, these first world problems. Let's check one more time. This one should have more. There we go, 15, 6. We're just going to do that straight off the bat. Uh, nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, so we have 218 or 350. So again, we're more than half full on those amenities. We can <laughs> this objective done. There we go. A nice little influx of income there. And again, I haven't even touched the dinosaurs. I haven't even done anything with the dinosaurs except for making them um, happy in the beginning. But we're definitely going to get into that. We're going to delete this whole fence. We're going to put a lot more tall necks in here. And let's have a look at the appeal. I'm not even sure what they want to appeal. 9,000. So the last appeal I had needed was 4,000. But you see, we're coming up to two and a half already, you know. So, uh, also something about the uh, the outer view on the right hand side over there. I thought that that whole list of dinosaurs was what's out of currently out of view, but it's misleading. It says recent appeal changes. So technically, the tyrannosaur is in view there. The last time it was out of view uh, was the brachy down there. But that brachy at the moment, he could be in view. So it doesn't tell you what's out of view right now. It just tells you what was out of view, even if it was for two seconds. So very misleading on that little menu. Uh, they should just tell you what's out of view at the moment and what's continuously out of view. That would be a lot more helpful. So here we go, guys. Shelter coverage and restroom coverage. And you got to go, you got to go. We have 88% shelter coverage. So I just want to see, yeah, staff improvements. I just want to see where they want me to go. So that shelter could have gone a tiny bit more this way. 
to cater for this. We're just going to literally have to put another shelter coverage there because we want 100% on that. Yeah, baby. Bring it on. Okay, so increase park rating, increase number of victorious flights. Never do that. Increase the size of the largest territory population. Increase the size of the largest territory population. So the largest population, that's going to be probably the Parasaurolophus. I'm going to do that and just see what it means. I want to pause. Increase the size of the largest territory population. So, oh, there we go. So 10 of 12. How do we see? Okay, we're going to go to our hatchery and we have 10. So I was right. It's the Parasaurolophus. <clears throat> so I've got 10 minutes to do that. So the first thing I want to do is get a uh, an expedition center up and running so maybe i can increase that genome just a little bit but i do have a time limit here so i keep this space over here for my future for my future power stations can i get him over here although that's a good spot for a hotel because it's next to the paddock i think i want to come this way this looks like a good spot to put him in so i'm not going to be putting anything else over here we could just do that leaving enough gap for guys to come through here, uh, the ranger teams. Okay, so again, we don't want to connect them. We just want to make a path coming through there. And I want to use the round paths more. And uh, actually, I need to make a save game here as well and a cut. Okay, I'm back. So, so we're going to get our expedition center back. going there. More dinosaurs, uh, I just want to, again, pause for a second. I know I'm pausing a lot, but, you know, I know I wasn't saying I was racing for time, but I want to try and do it as quick as possible. You know, the quicker you do it, the more efficient you are at it. I want to have a quick look at research here. So we definitely need these platforms because that's what we're going to be using um, on the carnivore pens. We don't want to use those ones that come up right to the side because um, I think actually there's a gap around them. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So if we, where is my trinosaur? I thought this was the paddock and he wasn't in there. It reminded me of the movie. If you look over here, as in, as at his intelligent trait, if you look at the gate at the top of my screen now, there's actually a gap. There's a little gap over here that happens right over here as well. There's a little gap. So in the angle that he is at, you can't see behind that gate. But again, if this was a pathway, he would be eating people. He would be, she, or she, she would be breaking out. So yeah, I think I just need to keep away from that. Uh, let's pause that. I want to have a look at my amenities again. You were 248. Just want to make sure I'm not losing out on lots of... There we go. You see 149. Uh, do we have another one? It's something that you have to keep doing until they kind of fill up. Where's it gone? See, now it's gone. Because I haven't paused the game. 13. We'll do 13. Nothing else. No, we'll just check one more time here. Under these ones... And then we're going to start building our park. Uh, we're going to have to wait till we come back. Um, when we have some upgraded modules, which is what we'll research kind of soon. Okay, so we are A for away. Now we want to go to the map and see if we can have a look at some Parasaurolophus. first. Maybe one or two expeditions I could do. Uh, Struthio, Troodon, Troodon, Triceratops. This is Parasaurolophus right there. Do we have one Parasaurolophus that is on his own? Because we kind of just want... Uh, yes, we do. Right, so now we have faster research, cheaper research, cheaper uh, genetic specialist. So we're going to go use as small, a few as we can. So those two are fine. But in this situation here, I've got four or five. So I do have to use one anyway. So I might as well use one that has two instead of one. Because as you look on the bottom right-hand corner, it'll reduce by 10% the time it takes. So at the moment, we want to research more scientists as well so we're going to go to the infrastructure and there it is right there so we don't we have to wait for those scientists to finish then we're going to do that so we can build another staff center uh let's just make sure i can't build another staff center response and paleo medical so the next paleo medical we're going to put down here to look after these dinosaurs and i love the fact that they've done that because technically they're all self-sustaining you know uh, the only thing that you have to intervene in is if someone has got a broken bone then you have to use this option down here obviously it would be pretty cool if they just delivered them but uh, if they made everything automatic then you kind of you wouldn't be doing anything you know um okay so i'm watching this very closely and let's fast forward once i'm going to save my game one more time here under three just because i want to i want that 130k bonus so let's see how long it takes it's, that's very slow 
I think I'm only going to be able to do one because I have to extract as well. See, there he goes. I don't know why he's going. Oh, the Jeep. He's still going to have to protect the Jeep. But uh, looking at this, looking at the, the, uh, the visuals, if we go down to our visuals over there, you can see the cars over here, they cover more than half of this pen. So once the cars spread out a bit, then they'll be able, they'll be covering this whole thing and i'm loving this idea of the fence now see he was auto tranked so he's only going to be tranked for about a minute whereas if i trank him he'll be tranked for 10 minutes this is because he was attacking the jeep okay we're going to fast forward a bit more we got 1.1 million so i don't want to wait around what i want to do is have a quick look at the amenities over here if i push triangle see they desperately want amenities down here now i do have the large amenities and we get uh, medium amenities and we're going to do that straight away we're going to put amenities down here. We're going to put uh, viewing platforms over here. And we're going to make this place a nice bustling little area. Um, I think to cater for this red bit over here, we're going to put our amenities along here. Seems like a good idea. But we want to put them within range of that, of that power because there's no need to build another one. I did put it on the wrong side. That was silly. Um, so what are you saying? No path? And now there's a path. Okay, so close enough there can be a path. I get you. So one amenity there, uh, food and our drink amenity, we're going to be putting right next to him, like so. And we kind of want to leave a, a, maybe a pathway through the middle over there, so we're going to put him as close to the right-hand side as we can. And no pathway required, or as in I don't, I don't have to put a pathway down. And one more amenity on shopping, we're going to put this side because we're going to put platforms, like I said, overlooking these guys here. And of course we're going to need our guest attraction as well. So we'll do that. And then the guest attraction, I don't think I've built yet. But uh, is the accommodation rating still okay? Yeah, he's fine. So let's unpause. And we're going to have these guys filling up with money. And we're going to increase our profit per minute. You can see the guests are pouring through. They're going right past where I want them to. It would be pretty cool if we could make, even you have to put a signpost here saying staff only or make this path staff only. But they're kind of like ants. They're just going to wander around. I'm glad they're not coming through here because that will lead them to a dead end. But um, at this point, we want them to come around here. We want them to come through here. We want them to go past this tour guide here. So having a look at my time limit there, I've got six minutes. So I'm thinking that uh, it's not going to work out. And um, I don't want to wait for it. I don't want to have to load my game because I've done too much. <clears throat> this over here, again, I'm just going to go... I'm not going to do anything for them. I'm just going to do two of them and uh, get that 130k bonus because I've never done it before. Okay, we're going to fast forward for two seconds. Then we're going to come back. And again, we're going to pause. We pause a lot. Look at that. 289. That's fantastic. That's just fantastic. But what we're going to do even before we start adjusting that is we want to research the platforms. I thought that was done already. Okay, so we're going to do the platform. Oh, sorry, the amenities right now. And my first playthrough, I only built six amenities. These six I've got over here are the only ones I ever built. So 2.9, 4.6 on dinosaur adoptions. 4.6 seems to be the winner so far. There you go. Uh, so 5.1 aquarium, 6.5 charity boxes, 6.6.5, 7. Photo booth. They seem to be favoring that one lately. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Uh, 8.6, 9.4 on the charity boxes. 9-4 is going to be the winner. 9-4 is the winner. Well done, sir. And we're going to maybe have one more in here. So 10 is selfie spot. And we're going to go from the bottom up this time. That's it. See, bang. We're going to have our profit per minute skyrocketing. So 5-4, 7 on the coffee. 7-7. Seven, seven. Do we have more than 7-7? Seven, seven? No, we don't. Coffee it is, although I could go for a fat smoothie with a bit of vodka, it might help. 16, 16.6 16, on the aquarium. We're going to see if there is a higher one. Probably not. So we're going to go straight for 16.6. And 17.2 on bean bags. We have 20 on the claw machine. 21 on infotainment. Do we see more than 21? Yes, we do. Photo booth 23. Okay, keeping going, keeping going. Nothing. Good. Only one more to do. I want to start doing dinosaurs so badly. So 5-2 is what to beat now. Oh, 14-2 on Korean barbecue. Yeah, we're going to stick with that one, one feels. So we have uh, 28, 20.8 really. So that's going to be a winner as well. Yes, sir. Oh, skeletal display. But we always want to use the first one. 
even if it's the same as the other one. So 21, 21, 1, and 21, 8 on the fish tank. Do I see more than 21, 8? 21, 8, 9, 8. 21, 8 is the winner, but there's a higher one down here. 21, 6, 21, 6, whatever. Let's just do that. And that's going to, oh, 22, 22, 5. We'll do that one as well. Another one? No. So we're going to unpause straight away. And I really hope I can get this dyno done within six minutes. Now I want to fast forward for one, two, three seconds. Then we're going to stop. Then we're going to have a look at my profit per minute. And we're going to be laughing. 200k, guys. From 41 to 200k just because I keep all of these separate. Anytime you put a, an attraction down, if I put attraction down over here, I'm going to have to put an amenity there. I'm going to have to put a... A, a, a restroom a shelter everything so it's you have to do little villages like i was saying before um so we don't really care about that but we will oh uh, wait no what i need to do before i start sending off this uh expedition center every time you send one off that doesn't have an improved yield is a wasted trip so improved yield is the first thing you want to do and the next thing is going to be the platform so we have faster research, and again, cheaper research is going to be the two that I'm going to use. It just seems like the right thing to do. So, uh, under attractions, we need this one next. I wish I could pin it. And the money's looking good as well, so I'm saying all of this, but uh, who knows what calamity is around the corner. This is Jurassic Difficulty, although I hope it's Jurassic Difficulty. Let me load there. Uh, challenges. <clears throat> yeah, Difficulty Jurassic. Phew! <laughs> Lucky for that. So yeah, look at this. So we've got 288 or 350. We're going to have to upgrade these in a second as well. Okay, I want to pause straight away because I want to see what these guys are. So insufficient skill. Look at that, guys. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um, that is unfortunate. The only way, the only way I can get around that is to research the staff center. I cannot do anything else to get uh, that increased. So it's okay. Um... I fail. I will fail that uh, that particular one, but uh, it's okay because uh, we're going to get on track here in a second. We've only got one fossil to do there. Everyone okay still? Gate failure. We're going to pause straight away when we hear something like that, and there is just one gate failure. So I mean, this kind of thing is just uh, we're going to head over to the vehicles only. <clears throat> there he is right there. We're going to add task and sort out the gate, please. Thank you open gates across the park what do you mean it's just the one and it's already resolved okay efficiency upgrades we're going to see what that is again we're going to pause well slow down then pause and we're going to have a look at our research now uh, we want to do the staff center because potentially we could still get that uh, cheaper research and that's 54 seconds do i want to do another one 54 down to 43 ah you know i'm just going to do what we need there then we will build the staff center and uh, hire a scientist that has a welfare ability. Why are you guys still anti? Now, there we go. I wonder if we'll be able to get a staff center built and a scientist hired and those eggs incubated. I doubt it. But I'm not too phased about it. It is what it is. Let's fast forward, fast forward. We're going to pause straight away again. And we're going to go and build our new staff center. Now, the staff center we can do in the smallest of little gaps if we can fit them somewhere. No, they just don't need to be anywhere else. Over here, I did build amenities here last time because this little bit of land over here, or this pathway says it needs it, but it just didn't, you know. <laughs> it didn't need anything. Oh, so we can't do that there. There's no pathway. We can do a pathway if we wanted to so we can utilize the center. Actually, you know something? I'm going to put a paddock in here and we can put maybe some Crichtonosaurus, some smaller dinosaur in there. That seems like a fantastic idea. I don't think I'm going to be using this little area here, though. So we can put our staff center smack bang in the corner here somewhere. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. And he's in line with the uh, with the power. So that works out well. No, we want you to curve the other way. No, we don't want you to do that. Uh, yeah, we can go straight onto that. <clears throat> no, that's the pathway. We need the actual pathway. So we're going to sneak around here and do this all the way down. This is utilizing space. <laughs> Jeez, like it. Here we go. We're going to come straight through there. And I think we have to do a straight one there, as much as I don't like them. 
give us a curve now you want straight as well okay good staff center is going to be built we still got three minutes so let's fast forward that and see what we can do i have to keep doing this to see if there's any ailments if you will and now we have four seconds three seconds we're gonna pause construction accident okay uh lose 50k public rating minus 25 lose 500k public rating 10 percent <clears throat> um <sighs> I feel at this moment in time, we're going to go with public rating and lose 500k because we're making a profit and there's no super rush here. Oh, come on, I paused. Right, so now we're going to go for hiring scientists. We want welfare. And these guys can be obviously upgraded as well or trained, should I say, upgraded. What are they, robots? So here we go. Positive influence, faster expeditions, cheaper expeditions. Those two are together are just awesome. So we do have cheaper research and faster research. That's covered. I also do really like the faster extractions. one of my favorite ones. And the positive influence on the far left because they're just they're good top-ups on all of them. So let's see. I mean, cheaper research is good. I don't have... I have faster and cheaper research. Yes, okay. Research is covered. Uh, give us one positive influence. Damn it. I needed a welfare specialist. So let's see who has the highest welfare. You've got six, seven, three, five, four, four, five, five. So essentially you have the highest one and you're a generalist now i would prefer you to be a positive influence decrease task time by 20 percent. so that's that's massive i'm going to go with welfare specialist right here uh sorry with a positive influence because well actually he's only she's only got two and she's level one so i will be able to upgrade her and uh, let me just make sure there isn't someone who has higher no she's got the highest well joint no she has the highest oh Increase all skills by one. I mean, I'm not even sure what that means. Increase whose skills? Gain degree in paleontology of University of Bristol. I think I'm going to have to go for welfare. Uh, actually, you know something? The game is paused. I just want to see what I need here. So, yeah, I just need one extra welfare to go on to that. So, I'm going to go for... I can do two, but I think I'm going to go for this one. Mm. I kind of want that one. No, I'm going to go with uh, what I need right now. And then again, I'm going to leave that open. Uh, what we can do over here, we can see uh, research. We're okay on research at the moment. Uh, altruistic salary, you've got three of seven on welfare. Uh, she has no effect. Like this one, altruistic salary is not a good one to have because she has no positive effect. A generalist or a positive influence would be better for that i think i want to go and get this positive influence but i do know i want ext uh, foster extraction the foster extractions are awesome because you only ever have to use one scientist uh when you do the extractions and it's faster so it, it works both ways so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that for now what i'm gonna do is get these guys going so we have three more do we want to do three i mean sure let's just do three so now we're gonna have Genetics? No, we want welfare. So welfare and welfare. Now we have two minutes left there, and that's going to take it down to 140. So no point in doing that. So we're going to use those two, and that's going to be two minutes. Oh, look at the time there, guys. Two minutes 31 in the bottom right-hand corner. So let's see if we can do this. I have to be very quick with the releasing of these guys. It'll give me 30 seconds window. <laughs> Fun. Okay, let's have a look around here. So again, shopping is going smoothingly. Uh, what else we want to do is make sure we've got our platform. 200k science limit. Okay, they're busy being, they're busy being busy. And what I can do is upgrade some of them though, and I could do that at the same time. So uh, cheaper research. We want logistics up for her. Uh, genetic specialist. Guess which one we want to do up for her. Although she's got five, so we don't technically need to put more on. But I'm gonna. <laughs> Uh, faster research again we want to put up the logistics and incubation so i um, must just watch that uh, those eggs over there we can now do the research for the platforms and that's going to get even damn you <clears throat> oh scientist limit what do you mean i've got five why couldn't i do that before faster research cheaper research we're going to use them both for this one uh oh oh you idiot i've got nine thousand bucks that's why i can't do it I haven't got enough money and I'm complaining why it's not working. Okay, so we're just going to wait and see if we can get this this bonus. I know it's not a big bonus, but you know, it's still a bonus. And then we're going to focus on the platforms, trying to get more, more shoppers in here. 
The only way to do that is to put more dinosaurs as well as put more attractions, which will be the next research. See there, I try to pause it. Can we get these guys out? And all they have to do is be in this paddock so we can open this gate. I haven't done that in a while. That's not me airlifting them all. And we're going to release. And we're going to... Come on. 18 seconds. Is it going to give it to me? I don't think it will because they have to kind of register still. That's unfortunate, hey? 18 seconds. I'm going to lose it by like 5 seconds. Come on. Well, that sucks. 11 of 12. Well, it was a good effort. Uh, now we have to do another contract. Or oh, look at that. I got it. Woohoo! So it gave me a little bit of a leeway. It gave me a little bit of a leeway. Or maybe I didn't do the... Maybe it was a different one I was doing. I don't know. Uh, let's select another contract because it is an extra cash that comes in. Okay, build amenities. We, we're not going to be doing that. The photograph dinosaurs is difficult because it could ask you to photograph a dinosaur you don't have, which is just dumb. Uh, so we're going to go with park profits. So it cost us 60 grand and we're going to get 280 in return. So you're looking at about a 220 profit there. <clears throat> Next up is going to be the platforms, the viewing platforms. So we're going to do faster, cheaper research. It seems like they're going... I've also got to keep watching my uh, calamity possibility down there. Uh, I want to have a look at this quickly. So we're going to need a larger hotel and the luxury wide path because the that's going to be an issue. Oh, I can actually do it. Uh, it's 200k. And I think I'm just going to do it just to move it along here. We're going to use all three. There we go. And another transmission. This, again, it does this all the time. I already have a contract and it asked me to do another one. They still haven't fixed that glitch. But if you look in the bottom corner now, my uh, it's doing it again. Come on, man. Now, for some reason, my calamity has gone up max. My sabotage risk. Okay, we're going to fast forward. Yeah, the atmosphere among your staff is hostile. So I'm going to get potentially a, a thingy now. I also have to get uh, some guys going down here. Can I just do this now quickly? It's 100k and 250k. So looking at 350k, I'm going to have to do this because I need these dinosaurs to be looked after because they're going to be vital at the end, nearing the end of the game. So we're going to put our response facility right there alongside the oversized paleo facility, although I suppose it does need to be oversized, doesn't it? I like to put that little corner over there just because it fits lacquer there like a puzzle piece. Although, are the cars that side or this side? You know, it doesn't matter because the driveway is here as well. We can check this now, we're going to have to get our pathway going. Um, okay, we've got money. So again, I want to pause. I like the pause button. We're just going to do that over there. And that, sticking with the curvature, why not? Uh, we're going to come. I feel there's definitely going to be another paddock in this little corner here for uh, the smaller dinos. So I've maybe a feeling I want to come straight across here and uh, head in this direction to this pathway here. And then we're going to get our power going and then I can stop. I can take the, the rangers from here and unassign them from here. So I'll be using less fuel and that kind of stuff as well, which is just fantastic. So we're going to keep this guy potentially. Yep, yeah, that is just marvelous. Um, he's not going to be able to go across here, is he? No. So we're going to come just to the corner of this guy here so you he can head in that direction there. Uh, electricity is going to be fine. Let me have a quick look at electricity. 120, 116. Okay, so we're going to need to build another power plant. And I normally build another power plant. And then I'll do the, uh, the power increase upgrade. Because it's not that expensive to do this. 250k, that's just something we're going to have to do. And we're going to come a little bit closer this way. Although, can we get here? No, that's going to be it's going to be too close, is it? Yeah, we're going to head over here and put him just below that pylon. So we're going to come as far back as we can and as far down to the left as we can. So about there. Bang, we've got him sorted and a pathway. So come on. No, we want to go straight and then curved if we can. There we go. Unpause. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is have a look at the the quantity, the capacity for 
Uh, staff saying to science, science. Mm. Have I done it already? Yes, I have. Improved yield. Yes, please. That's all we want. We're never going to change the improved yield. So we're going to have a quick look at the other buildings we've got here. Just to make sure we can't attach anything to them. We definitely can't do that one. Uh, the fossil center, we want to do the capacity upgrade, but that is a million bucks. So we're going to leave that for now. But what that means is, guys, let me just explain if you haven't, if you don't know. If you look on the right-hand side, you've got some locked spots over there. So no matter what you do, it's going to cost you 50 grand. So if you unlock the rest of those slots, it's still going to cost you 50 grand, and you can almost double the amount of fossils that you can extract from at the same time. So we definitely want to do that as soon as possible. And we're going to do advanced scanners because that's all they do all the time is scan. Okay, we're looking pretty good here, guys. So we're going to have a look at again at our guests. The shelter coverage needs to go up slightly, and the appeal just needs appeal. That's that dinosaurs are going to come once I've set everything up. So uh, I just want to see where it wants the shelter. It's probably going to be... See, there's no guest things over here yet. I haven't attracted them to this point yet. Wider path, good. So really, it's 86% when I mean, there's a shelter needed over here. I did want to do that earlier, didn't I? So um, let's just get that out of the way, really. Uh, we're going to get a shelter. Smack bang over here. Oh, come on. The side. Yeah, it looks like a good idea. Okay, good. So now that we have this guy... Um, with the improved yield, we're going to have a look at what we want here. So the dinosaurs that we do have, we do have Dilophosaurus. What I want to do is, is top up the pens I already have, or the dinosaurs that I already have. So Struthios, fine. Troodon, no. Struthios, yes. Parasaurolophus, we can. But I, want, I don't want to fill up too much that pen. I want to put more tall necks in there. So for the time being, we have the Parasaurolophus and... Uh, we do have other ones here. The Triceratops, we just need some more cash. So that's fine. Uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. So we're going to leave it for a second. We're on 1.7 stars. So I mean, we are doing pretty nicely. What I wanted to do over here, if you look over here, we've got 246 of 375. We want to encourage more guys. So I know that tree line over there is where the guy is going to attack. So we're going to do one focusing in this corner over here. Just making sure the whole view is right there. Oh, here we go. Site manager sick. Uh, higher temporary manager, lose 18, 50% of viewing platform task. Give the role to a scientist, two times remaining task time, four times. You know what? I am happy with losing 18,000. No problem there at all. And now we're going to do another one. As you can see, if you look at the white sand over here, there's that line over there. That's where it tells you. That's new as well. Normally, you'd have to wait for the other one to be finished to be able to see. But we're going to come over here a little bit further and just get the other end of this paddock. We kind of want to go a little bit further, actually. But we want to stay inside the the uh, electricity so we're going to go about there for now that's still going to attract people and now instead of doing a path down here actually you want to do a path kind of like this rather so the flow of traffic you don't want the, the less pathways you have the better pretty much although this one doesn't seem like a bad one because they'll come from there to there you know what screw it let's do that now what we want to do guys is again i want to pause the game I'm going to go to Pathways, and I'm going to go to the Thicker Path and Replace. This will prevent... Actually, before we do that, we're going to head up to the uh, Management Map, and we're going to go for Crowding. As you can see, lots of crowding down there. No real crowding here. But as a, as a, as a rule of thumb, I like to put the Thick Pathways on, well, the main thoroughfare. So this over here, that over there. And then from the entrance point of the park, everything over here needs a wider path. This one over here does not need a wider path. We don't want to encourage them to go down there because that's kind of the um, the staff centers. And this over here, we do have a hotel, so we will do this particular path here, but we won't do this one because that's leading to staff centers and uh, for staff, pretty much. This over here, we're definitely going to have a large area. This one over here, large, all these up. And I kind of use the large areas for the large paths for all of them from now on, pretty much. We're going to make sure we get all of these guys widened up here and down here as well and even these pathways here we're going to make wider and that pathway there and that one there so now we ain't going to have any problem with <laughs> with overcrowding and uh let's just think about what's next we've got 158k we have 220 profit per minute so we're looking pretty good here now with those two platforms built 
Uh, oh, it's because I've just widened the path. They're all upset with me. So we're going to fast forward. <laughs> there is no lack of amenities. The pathways are just uh, getting into effect. There we go. Now look at that, guys. Just because I put those two platforms down, bang. These shops are now maxed. And, uh, oh, I just got a notification. Game of Thrones sequel in works. Yeah, as long as it's not done by the D&D &D brothers, I'm happy. So right over here, I'm going to pause this straight away. Because every second that goes past now, I am losing money because these guys are maxed. Now, because I put the, the platforms down here, as well as the wide paths, more people were able to get here, more people were attracted here, and bang, the shops are now full. And that's what you want to see. You want to see these full shops. These guys don't have uh, any attractions, so because they don't have, I don't have the ability to put uh, dinosaurs or anything here, what I do want to do is have a guest attraction. Oh, sorry, this one here. No? Where are you? Oh, it's probably under attractions. This over here. This is a way to attract guests to a point where you can't use dinosaurs to attract them. So we are going to pin that to the node and it's going to ask us to build something else. It's going to go, it goes green. So this over here. Constructive viewing gallery. Oh. Oh, okay. It wants me to do one of those silly little ones. So again, I'm going to keep the game paused and I don't really like using the viewing platforms because dinosaurs will eat them but we can definitely do them on the herbivores so if we can throw one right there wait have i got the viewing gallery see that's just perfect smack bang in front of those shops and uh we're going to be able to get this going so bring additional funds gain 1 million public rating plus 25 four times remaining task time i don't see that there's any diff <laughs> well, any difference any decision to be made here four times of task time <laughs> whatever do it unpause Give me a million bucks. And then, what are we going to do with that million bucks? I kind of want to do this with a million bucks, but for the time being, the fossils are only 50,000, so I'm going to use the money on something else. So that's going to take four times longer to build, which is fine. What I want to look at next is the large amenities. This is next on my list. Damn it, why can't I ever find them? Keep it up. There it is. I keep thinking it's a hotel. Two stars. Look at that. I didn't even notice because I can't hear anything. So here, we're going to pin this one next because um, I know I want to do the attractions. Uh, 500 guests, 2.5 stars is what we need. So we'll leave the other one pinned for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to make sure that carries on. So what we want to do is expedition for the Parasaurolophus because that just seems like what we want to do here. Oh, everything's opened up because I've got the money now. Um... You know, we don't want to do Parasaurolophus. What we want to do is get our species penalty down. You can see there, minus 905. And looking at the hotels, we have 117 of potential 108. So we're just, just over 100 left for capacity, which is fine. But as you can see, the accommodation rating is now 77. So what we want is large amenities. We want to guest attraction. And we want a large hotel. So, large hotel is the most pressing one, I would say. And what do we need for this? Nothing. So, fast research, cheaper research, and we need one more. See, this is where the positive influence guy would come in perfectly. Because we've got eight of nine on logistics there. We just need one more. So, genetic specialist or generous? Generous is going to be better, but it says duration, minus 10%, which is the same as positive influence. But as you can see, the threat is now flashing in the bottom right-hand corner. My sabotage risk is going through the roof. I'm going to attempt to increase the volume a bit um, so I can actually hear what's going on. Um, yeah, so we're going to wait for that research to get done. So we can build a larger... I wonder if I could delete all this and put a large hotel in there. I wonder if it'll fit. What I can do is close the gate. Yes, I can. Okay, and we're going to wait for this research to get done here. Here we go, guest attraction and hotel. So, what we're going to do first is the guest attraction. Um, oh, we can actually research it now. Yeah, there we go. See, he's, she's disgruntled now. So, if we use her, there's a chance she'll quit. And we do not want to have our cheaper research or cheaper or faster research quitting. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go get her to rest straight away. And then we're just going to make do with what we have. Uh... Luckily, it's the cheaper one that's still available, which is just fantastic. So now we just need two. So we're going to go with Generalist right there. Okay, so the larger hotel is being researched. Uh, no, sorry, the guest attraction is going to be researched. We do have the large hotel. Now, I was thinking, no. Is that... Oh, that could go there. 
I wonder if it could fit right there because that is where we want it to go. It's not telling me what is stopping. It's stopped by a small hotel. Well, obviously it is. I wonder. I think I'm just going to build it next to it. No need to have that going down. We're going to put it right there where it comes as far this way as possible. And it's going to have, as you can see here, quite a few dinos in view. Not a lot, but um, I was kind of thinking the other day to build like an inlet and then have a whole area inside a paddock where you have hotels and amenities or just hotels pretty much. <clears throat> that would be pretty damn cool, I feel. But I'm still losing money every second of the time the game ticks over. Guest attraction is being researched. We can do expeditions. I just want to see, do we have, uh, we have nothing to do with expeditions. Do we have any cheap expeditions? Positive influence. There we go. Faster expeditions, cheap expeditions. So I'd rather take cheap expeditions than faster. So that is definitely, oh, it's a pity that logistic is only three. Come on. I mean, for now I could use it, but it's just terrible. To have someone that has expeditions that require logistics, you know what? <clears throat> Screw it. I want to do it anyway. Because uh, it costs a lot of money to do these. As you can see, why can't I do these? Because of the staff is being busy. What can I do? Let's do Troodon. No. Dryosaurus is a small guy. Dilophosaurus we can do. I mean, Dilophosaurus, like I said, is one that we do have. And we can top up. So let's do that. Uh, cheap expeditions. And there we go. We'll do those two. Of course, we get some um, sellable amber when they come back. T-Rex is fine. Now, I kind of want to hold back on some of the staff. Although, like I was saying before, the the sabotage that you get is, is not that brutal. The <laughs> dinosaur poisoned. So here we go. We have a dinosaur poisoned. And uh, which has just led me or reminded me that I need to clear some trees away right over here. Uh, do I want to do it? there rather no <clears throat> excuse me in front of the gate right here this is so the obviously the rangers can come through here but what i haven't done yet is assigned and unassigned these guys so i'm going to push r1 right over here and uh let me just check something so this is ranger post one and two i'm assuming uh this one over here that is ranger post one and two nothing assigned there is fine and so we have five and six and seven i'm assuming <clears throat> or four five and six okay so this guy over here we don't want him to be doing no we're going to do this again it's just easier just to stop all these assignments then just add task from this guy here ranger team one so they go in a kind of a circle we're going to add you one more time to there to there to there and then the second guy, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure he's cancelled everything. And we're going to add the task. But this time we're going to go this way around. So they're kind of going opposite. At the moment he's signed to the guy right at the bottom. But uh, we're not going to do that. And then the paleo medical guy over here. We're going to remove all these assignments. What's happening? Remove and remove. And then once again, we're going to add task. But we're only going to do the top the top tiered guys, as in those the bottom tier, these are top tier. Now we do have these guys built. Uh, we can do nothing there, but we can do the better scanners over here. So let's do that. And then these guys are going to be the ones holding out down here. So Ranger Team 3 is going to be going 1, 2, 3. Then Ranger Team 4 is going to be going the other way around. 1, 2, 3. Just to kind of mix it up a bit and then the mobile unit we're going to have right there and right there and right there and again i'm just going to assign the capture team because it's kind of what the game wants you to do and i don't think that it's going to have a detrimental effect when they are tranked because if you trank a dinosaur it's like they they're not there anymore you lose out on the appeal but uh, i think this mechanic allows you to do it without having a, a negative effect um so i think also we do have a thing over there that was for that. I feel there might be some stuff down here, but we don't want to get too much in the way. I think if we just tuck this right over here, we should be okay. And we just do that hub there so we can power the gates on there and get a more accurate reading of what our electricity is. 180 of 131, that's fine. Unpause. 
Good. So that was a lot of things done there. So I like to save after doing all those technical things. Now, if we have a uh, dispatch, automatically deal with a dinosaur. Who's sick? I don't do sick dinos. Uh, let's see. It's undiagnosed as of yet. But of course, our paleo medical guy is en route. Go, so go. Of course, you can just drive over those. We have some research going here. We have the large hotel still being constructed. We have this guy built. 524 appeal and you've got 1500 appeal 1500 appeal so a little bit less but uh, I did actually build him there last time I just forgot to do it this time uh, having a look at the dinosaurs here if I do this that this corner is kind of missing so we can't have that we need this thing as much there as possible so we're going to do ranger team one assigned to that outpost and again ranger team two also assigned to this one just to get that corner going. So we're going to go back to our scientists now. You are disgruntled. We're going to send you off straight away. And we're going to pause because it looks like there's a lot of shit happening. The Steggies are going to be fine. Uh, they're going to get healed and they might need to be taken a photo of or something. But over here we can get our attractions and our viewing tracks. So just, just to show you. So we've got 182 and 200. So we've got 182 to 200 on the guest attractions. So... We're going to try and plonk this guy. We're going to plonk him right here. It looks like. Please fit. Yes. We're going to plonk you right there. Right next to the amenities. And uh, at the moment, you don't need to edit the attraction because it's automatically going to be on cinema. Just like that. And when that guy's finished, in one minute's time, we're going to show you what's cutting. So we do have guys. Do we have any more enough fossils to merit? Nope. They're still on the way back. Transmission, here we go guys, coming up to two and a half stars, 659, that is just, that is just fantastic. So increased park rating, increased number of fights, no, pre increased profit. So we're definitely going to do rating straight away, because there's potential, oh, you see I felt vibration in my controller, which is, I've never seen that before, or felt it should I say. So we definitely need a photo of these guys to do the rabies, I wonder if that was telling me that uh, that's what's happening. Or do I need to, or is there a storm coming or that kind of thing? But over here, we're going to have a look because this fence is cracking. These guys are, these guys are not happy. Uh, it says it's obstructed. Oh, I could have done that one there. Let's get this guy going here. And uh, we need the helicopter straight away. Oh, that's all right. Awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, let's see. There he is there. And we're going to go direct control. We're going to turn around. I'm going to get a photo of these guys instantaneously. Just like that. And that, oh, well, that was 150k. So we're going to pause straight away. We're going to click on our dyno. And we're going to go see what the research is needed. There we go. So faster research. And we're just going to use anyone for this. There we go. Okay. So. We have the rabies search, uh, searching, researching. We have... Uh, this guy over here is going to repair that. The second, and I mean the second that the rabies is, is finished researching, it's going to come and sort these guys out instantly. All automatic. So here we go. We have the guest attraction. And let's have a look at this. 255. So we've got 50 more on there. 225 and 225. So you're looking at 45 to 50 more people in this because of this attraction. And if you wanted to do another 50 people, you could put another one of these down here and then just go into it and edit the attraction and choose something different. Now, obviously, there's nothing there, but uh, once you research more modules, you'll be able to change it. So there we go. So he's been diagnosed and he's been dispatched and he's right there. He just can't get through here because of these. These guys are in the way. OK, so we are looking smashingly here. So I want to pause this for a second just because I now need to work on getting these amenities out of here and these ones I'm not going to change maybe I'll maybe put uh, medium amenities here because you can see they're kind of reaching up and although you know I don't like this path being here um, we can go use a smaller path and do this because I'm gonna I could use this area to pull the amenities and then delete like I like doing and even this pathway over here can be better we're going to put him right against the edge over here oh just couldn't do it there just there yeah good we're going to put you all the way around because this is just a staff area oh i love that 
and then we can delete this so we can have more space here for for amenities i could even bring this down although a large one might just fit there <laughs> okay so we're going to have a look quickly at the paris Rotifers, Dryosaurus. those both those are both empty so what we do is we go to the the fossils and we sell what we can sell thank you thank you thank you thank you and then we select all of these guys like so now if we look on the right hand side 83 and 17 is 100 so we know that's going to be Dilophosaurus 100 percent but uh, the Parasaurolophus is 75 and 6. It's going to be 81. So he's going to need more. But I definitely will do Parasaurolophus at the moment. And I desperately want to get my faster extraction. But as you can see there, 6 to only use 1 is the best one to use there. <clears throat> and uh, we want Parasaurolophus. But uh, I don't think there's going to be another one on its own. Uh, Triceratops, Struthia. There we go. Parasaurolophus with a whole lot of other ones. See, the Chasmosaurus is something I want to use as well, definitely. And I want to use it in between those other ones. So I think we're going to keep going for Paris Rolifers because we're kind of leaning towards that. Uh, cheap Expeditions is what we want. Unfortunately, Tamura is terrible with logistics. So we're just going to have to go faster research on this one. <clears throat> Done. Yeah, I know they're becoming hostile. It's unpaused. So these guys are going to be all sorted with their ailments. It's weird because the Stegosaurus in the last game, you had to have... Uh, eight of them and now they only need four they're awesome but uh, they're happy that's all that matters i found out the hard way not putting that fence between this last time <laughs> i think that's definitely what i want to do is do like a practice run of it do like two or three hours of it and then get into it because uh it's the starting of this of, of these maps which is so difficult and uh if i hit the ground running like I showed you to do some of this with the dinosaur, sell that dinosaur because he's going to break out, uh, put a fence through there, that kind of thing, you know. Let's have a quick look at the Dilophosaurus here. <clears throat> he needs a stasis check. Let's find someone who doesn't need one. So if we look at all that, all those stats, uh, they're 100%. So they've got more than what they need. The prey is more what they need. The water is more than what they need. So I am essentially going to be pumping out Dilophosaurus. Uh, let's see. The hatchery upgrade we want advanced equipment before we start doing dinosaurs i mean it's like an hour into the game and we're only starting to do this now okay so prerequisite increased park rating 1.5 stars uh well that's done oh we haven't done this one yet <laughs> stop ad. cheaper research fine i mean and then we need two genetics <clears throat> go and he's going to need a rest after that i'm not even you know I'm not too worried about the calamity at the bottom, like the exclamation, the sabotage risk. Because like I was saying, they are very low and easy to deal with. Okay, so here we go. Here's our first alert. So breakout target found. I, sir, want to know where your breakout target is. Because I was very sure, very careful not to put anything in between that. <clears throat> Maybe there's a pathway. This pathway I did, the human pathway here. If there's people walking on there, then yes, that's going to be a bad idea. So what I can do, I want to pause straight away and try and eliminate this problem. Or even before I do that, send someone who's disgruntled to get them going. Um, I need to make sure I nip this problem in the butt because I don't want the T-Rex to come running around to me and eating people because my lawsuits are going to go through the roof. So we're going to want to do something like this. Is it going to let me do this? Um, can I go this way? I can go that way because I still want to use this area. Ah, oh, it's going to let me do it. Fantastic. So we're going to come straight in there and we're going to do that. And then we're going to come down here because we're not going to be using this area as far as I know. <clears throat> okay, that was a good fix around. So now, not only do we get rid of this very long path, we can expand this area as well. And make it so, make it so, make it so this pathway here, this uh, tour is actually in a large area. And then we might have to do a couple more amenities if we do that kind of thing, because we need the attractions. Or I can just use this and these guys will increase popularity. I couldn't even move these buildings around. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. When I, when, I, when I do the large amenities, I'm going to move staff center and the this center here the hotel and these onto this side i'm going to clear as much area as i can here do a paddock over here big one and this is already built and then have these amenities very close to this and have the hotel potentially in the middle <laughs> i could have it in the middle 
But uh, that, that sounds like a good idea. But for now, we need to get the large amenities researched. So let's just see what I need to do in order to do that. I'm going to go to guest comfort. Uh, no, not guest comfort. We want the amenities. So large amenity, we need 500 guests and 2.5 stars. So I can pin this just as a reminder. And uh, what is it saying I can research on the platforms here? Is that going to be something? Okay, so the guest attraction modules is what I was talking about for the guest attraction. But if I'm going to be moving this around, then I won't need to. So Dalla for source, complete genome, bang. That's what we want. And we wanted this first. We want advanced equipment before we do anything. It increases 50% chance of having more eggs and the success rate of the eggs. So you want cheaper research, uh, showing the unavailable ones. The faster research is busy. And I'm just going to do this. So we're just going to do that. <coughs> Off we go. Yes, yes. You're coming hostile. Then you're going to become hostile. We have a quick look at our guest over here. 99, 99, 100%. That's fine. The appeal's low because we haven't started doing dinos yet. So once we can actually come in here, we can push square on the Dilophosaurus and we can see what ailments they have while we're waiting for that research. So resilience, we're going to click on that. And yes, we can research that straight away. We don't want them to be sickly, although them being sickly now is, is less of a mission than it used to be because it's all automatic, but it still costs money. And uh, if I can, oh, see my, my uh, controller's vibrating. I wish I knew what that meant. We're going to need more than an umbrella. This is a full-blown full hurricane. hurricane. Okay. So I think it just means that there's something coming. So I've got a pre-storm save over there. And yes, save scum, whatever. Like I was saying before, I'm not going to spend seven hours playing this game and then get it completely screwed up by a one minute storm. So we're going to fast forward. We've got a lot of research going. We've got some guys resting. We've got some guys uh, digging up fossils. So we're going to fast forward this. Then we're going to select our ranger team and then select add task and then just wait. As you can see right there, that's not a heavy issue. We want to go for the big issues first. The last thing you want to do is repair the ranger station that you're actually using. The second you repair that, then you will not be able to do the automatic control add task. You'll only be able to do direct control. So you want to save, see like over here, staff center can be done, that's fine. You don't want to do the power line next to it or the actual ranger station itself. You want to save that for last. So we have one damage over there. Down here, I'm not too phased. We can add task. We can do this guy over here. What's happening with this? Resupply? Okay, well, you do it yourself. Oh, that's what the resupply is. I just realized something. I just realized something. So the research over here, um, where it says, where is it? Uh, paleomedical, this over here. Path transit, <clears throat> power stations. Oh, there's something over here. There we go, the resupply. Medical vehicle automatic resupply. Oh, I think it is because I thought the resupply meant when this guy needs fuel, it resupplies. I think that is pretty much what it is. I thought maybe you have to turn this on for them to resupply the actual feeders, but I don't think that's the case. Anyway, uh, we're going to keep going and we're going to see. See, now we can only do direct, direct control because the power's out. So we're just going to look around. We're going to see what the main issues are. We still have a ranger team over here, which can be used to repair that. And we might as well get the other one doing that. Uh, this guy's damaged. The paleo medical guy will come out to this undiagnosed ailment. So we've got to get the, the medical guy out there. He's doing it on the Paris but We want to do him first. And again, we're, we're looking for fence breaks and stuff like that. There's the power line. And we're going to see if we can get these guys to repair this. Direct control. Oh, wait, I don't know where I am here. Uh, I guess we can come up this way. And I think I need to do a power, the next power uh, plant down here. So this kind of has its own power as well. I can't believe how bad the traction is on these vehicles. It's terrible. But I do love the storm effect. It's absolutely awesome. So we're going to repair the sucker here. Oh no, we can't turn in time. Nope. It's like you're on ice, even when it's not raining. It's really badly done. And we need one more repair here, I'm assuming. 
I think two of them were done, or maybe that does both. Yeah, it does both. Okay, so not so bad. We have a fence broken there, but that's inside, so we're going to leave that for a second. We want to make sure these guys are... Yep, here he comes. He's going to be looked after. And then you guys... See, this is the only time they need to be tranquilized manually. And what I didn't do there, guys, I didn't open up my shelters. So luckily a dinosaur didn't escape. For some reason, I don't know. I don't think I've ever forgotten to do that. But um, you must make sure that you open up the shelters, because that can be very detrimental... Okay, at the moment, I don't have enough guys uh, at task. We're just going to kind of get these things repaired whenever they can. But these two here, we need to get our capture team in here. Add task. Trank you and trank you. Then down here, these guys are okay. We have someone coming to check on them. And we're going to see what this ailment is. Let's fast forward so before we go away. So he's just going to be... Minor fracture, he's fine. And this one as well. Okay, so he needs tranking. I think, yeah. So let's get... Let's get him tranking right there. And uh, these guys are now needing to be picked up. This is the only thing you have to do, really, to look after dinosaurs. We're going to throw you in there. And we need five welfare. Uh, we have four. And we have one. We'll use the... Oh... Altruistic salary for you. Then the other one, we're going to pick up and throw it on here. And that Stiggy's going to have to wait. Uh, we need four welfare. We don't have enough. So we're still going to send. You push circle, and you can still send him to that area. And uh, I'm just going to pause for a second here to get ahead of myself. So these guys are all done. He's fine. Those are fine. So I need the staff research now. I need a welfare specialist. So I can't do any more staff at the moment. Obviously, I can do this one up. I can train you when she comes back. And welfare is what I need. It's going to take it up to four. So, let's continue. Uh, make sure these guys are okay. They'll come right in a second. I just want to make sure... I'll just select this guy and make sure everything's repaired. You make sure you go there. And then the next guy. So that's the problem with having them assigned to so many things. You can't assign... The only thing you can do really is have them an, an additional scheduling slot, which is definitely what I'll do when I come down to it. So, having a look over, the, over here, we have some fossils to sell, and then we have Troodon. We wanted the Parasaurolophus in the end. 81 and 8 isn't going to be enough, but this one over here is going to be enough. Yep, yeah, no, not, not yet. So, we'll just do anything, and again, I think this is a good time to put in the million bucks... Extraction capacity. There we go. And now we can just select all of them pretty much. There we go. Fills it up perfectly. Now I do want the faster extraction. <laughs> That's my next guy I want to purchase. But before all of that, I still need to do the large amenities. And can I build them? Because that's something I need to do very quickly. I need 1.5 stars, don't I? Oh, that is pinned down there. So the rating's gone down a lot, obviously, because of the big storm. But uh, once everything's repaired, let's have a double check here. Go and repair that, sir. Everything's okay down there. Why does it have this? It says low. It's not low. Staff is becoming hostile. Then get rid of them. Uh, you see how long the medic's taking now. So the faster treatment. I do need treatment. Can I assign... Someone to this. Can I fast forward? Let's fast forward. Delivery Treatment pending. Any other side? Yeah, you see, I just I don't have enough. The only one that can do this are being used for the other one. So they'll be fine waiting in there. This guy will be fine in there. He's almost done. And he's been dispatched to, to heal him. What do you mean undiagnosed? He's been diagnosed. And there we have... Um, the first treatment done. We're going to stop the fast forwarding. Treatment successful. Parasaurolophus goes right there. The Next up is going to be you, because you're kind of in there. Assigned scientist, and we're going to have four or four. Good. And this one, I'll, hopefully, I'll be able to do the next one. And let's see if we can get you going. Come here, Mr. Stego. And that's pretty much the remnants of the storm, what had to be done. Fast forward. Pick him up. 
There we go. I'm going to put you in there, and it needs six. Damn it. Three, four, five, nothing. So we're going to exit, and then we're going to say yes. Still stand, send him there. Increase power rating 2.5 stars. So let's have a look at the guest need quickly. They're all fine. That's just the appeal that we need, and that's what we're working on right now. We're waiting for the the equipment. There we go. Advanced equipment. See, increase synthesis chance of each egg by 50%. That's massive. Oh, I've got two slots. And additional bays. See, right now, we, d we just don't need additional bays. Um, we can always add that at the end. So we want to do the Dilophosaurus. And we don't want them to be sickly. So we're going to head over to there and push once right on the D-pad. Now, everything else is locked, which is fine. I mean, the only thing I would want is the long life. Environmental needs. Uh, re territory. Uh, that's combat health. So this would be... Reduce the rate of health loss due to disease and chance of getting disease. So if you look on the top left corner, I've got three more. So I could do 25% resilient because I'm not too worried about that now. And long-lived is what we want mainly. Because because the sickly now is, is all automatic. I'm not too phased about that. And this over here, I like to put on the random color. And this is, just increases variety if that does anything. Then push square. And then we're going to see how many of these guys we can build. So genetic-wise, we've got six. That's all we need. 18 seconds. And you know what? We're going to do another one. Although, <clears throat> I used to do that before. We just keep throwing them in here. But you kind of want to put a batch in and then see how these guys react. Look at the stats of this over here. And uh, instead of just overloading them, we're going to wait and see. Uh, I thought I asked you to... Oh, yeah. He is being delivered. So 2.1 stars. Let's have a look at the money. 298k so we are on track ladies and gentlemen now we have a paris Rodifus, which is going to go back into his little pen over here and then i want a large carnivore type area so look at that look at that that wouldn't be possible without the uh the 50 percent increase in the chance of the eggs being good so we have 1.9 million so over here we have intelligent 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 and intelligent resilient long-lived this one is not long-lived uh, but he is social. Uh, I just want to see quickly what the alpha has here. <clears throat> what do you have, sir? That's all he is, is intelligence. So I don't know if someone else coming in here could be the alpha. Because you, you kind of want them to be the alpha. I mean, it's massive. If you have this, this one over here as the alpha, then they're going to be long-lived and resilient. This one over here is just intelligent and social. This one is just intelligent, long-lived, uh, fit. So we'll take that one away. And long-lived, good, long-lived, social and long-lived. So we want those guys. And I think if we take one more away, long-lived, we want to keep long-lived, intelligent. So these guys, oh, that's the only one that has if it's alpha. So we want to keep that one. That's weird. I thought some of them could be. That one could also be alpha. Now I want to know, I want to test it myself and see if these guys actually can take over the alpha status fast forward a bit there because i've almost got enough to get these guys out the guest protest those are those are sucky i wonder how to get uh i wonder if i move him away or if i sell him if someone else could be the alpha you see these guys just get tranked all the time because they're getting too close to the to this which is not ideal but as uh, long as it doesn't have an adverse effect on what I'm doing or on the appeal then I'm happy with that okay let's see what happens next okay so I desperately need the the large amenities but uh, we're going to be waiting till we have 2.5 stars so science scientist yes we need four seven uh, but they are disgruntled we do not want those guys that was close if I just pushed square there I would have been in trouble I could have lost my oh altruistic salary it wouldn't have been too bad <laughs> Can I still get this guy treated with what I have? Four, five, six. Yep. Let's just get him done and dusted. But as you can see, that's going to make my sabotage risk very high. Okay, 1.5. And we're still going cruising on 132. See, that was 300,000. Oh, it's because the public uh, protests. Uh, just having a quick look at the guests again. They're all fine. So, all I want is the money for the Dilophosaurus. But even before that, actually, I'm thinking... No, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I need the public rating to go up, so I need these dilophos. 1.68 staff busy, and I only need three on the welfare for the staff. And those two are busy. I can increase yours 
Yeah, your welfare will go up once you've done resting. Let's fast forward. Yeah, so again, I'm still losing money on that, but there's nothing I can do if I don't have enough stars. Stegosaurus is done. Let's get you back where you belong, sir. And uh, 1.8, that should suffice now, but we need to wait for that guy to rest. No, we can do it. So we need four welfare. We're just going to do that. Uh, it's going to take 54 seconds. That's fine. We don't want to use anyone else. <clears throat> Fast forward. Uh, let's get someone else out and about. So we have tall necks. What were the tall necks? They're brackies. They look like brackies, yeah. But uh, they're going to be quite far away from me still. So <clears throat> Chasmosaurus, Chasmosaurus. I kind of want to do... Actually, let's just not fast forward for a second. Now, I did want to do something big here. And if I want these to be full, when they're larger amenities, I'm going to have to move all this around, like I was saying before. All I have to do is pause it, move everything around, and uh, in the end, get a paddock that's going to cover this whole area, just like that, and even come down to here to fill that gap and then have the amenities and everything right outside it. So I think that's going to be good. So we're going to get our Dilophos airlifted to where they're supposed to be. Over here. There we go. That's done. And that's going to increase my park rating quite a bit, one would assume. But um, I need 2.5 stars to get that large amenity. But it doesn't mean I can't start moving this stuff around or building the next paddock for the next guy. <clears throat> but what do I want to go in there? That's something I can do while I wait or while I build this. So I want I want something big. I want a nice carnivore. Uh, but there's no... There is a pathway next to it. So ideally a carnivore wouldn't be ideal here. Carnivore I could build over here somewhere where I haven't got pathways and stuff like that. So I want to go for a some herbivores that can be with other herbivores so Struthio, Chasmosaurus um, if I look at the genomes can I see what they can and can't go with so we've got Triceratops, Dryosaurus they're small, <clears throat> Celiophysis down here we've got a carnivore it's going to be the Conatosaurus and then the Metriacanth or Mojungasaurus there, Pro, um, Compsognathus they're very sickly I had them I had them even on the highest anti-sick genomes and they were just sick all the time I don't like them Proceratosaurus, and we have Velociraptor and Parasaurolophus. Uh, so, <clears throat> I kind of want to go down here, but the pathways is going to make them jump out. So, herbivore-wise, herbivore-wise, I think we can do the Chasmosaurus. So, if we go to Chasmosaurus, and he likes Pachyrhinosaurus, Styracosaurus, and Anki. So, the Styracosaurus, it doesn't tell you what they are. Which is why I have a, a window open next to me. Right over here. Oh, somebody wants me to put subtitles on there. But uh, yeah, let me just skip ahead for this. Okay, so a Chasmosaurus is a Ceratopsid. So if I come here, uh, they're not going to go nicely together. Although, it says Chasmosaurus, but he is a Ceratopsid. And he likes Pachy, Styracosaurus, and Ankylosaurus. Okay, so after much deliberation, these two here are very good partners. So the Chasmosaurus, if you look on the right-hand side, he likes Styracosaurus and Ankylosaurus. And if I go to the Styracosaurus, he likes Chasmosaurus and Ankylosaurus, which means these two can go together along with the Ankylosaurus, which is going to be the Crichtonosaurus or the Eucephalus. And, uh, oh, that's the only one. Oh, uh, here we go, Crichtonosaurus. He's, a, he's very popular. So I can have this kind of thing. In a large area over here and just pump it full of them so we're gonna head straight there and we're gonna start with the first one I like to start at the top so let's go Chasmosaurus we're gonna go fast uh, cheap expeditions and I can't believe it's cheap expeditions with one logistic skill uh, faster research what do we need we need six yeah it's gonna have to be you then we're gonna build defense first uh, we don't even need a large electric fence, you know. We I don't know why I would need that with these guys. Oh, it's for the storms. Okay, so we're going to use the larger fence or the stronger fence. Actually, before I get into that, uh, I want to see if there's a bigger fence I can research. Because I don't want to have to replace them. Replacing fences is the worst thing ever. I guess the last one is 2.5 stars, so no, I can't. So we're gonna, just going to do the fence for this one. 
So, this over here kind of needs to be on the outside. So the fence is going to have to come along here. I wonder if it's going to, it's going to ask me to do a gate there. So I need to do a fence all the way down here for starters, just like this. My tour track. Okay, so it's not going to let me go over the tour. Which means I... Oh, come on. I didn't even build anything. Lose 250k public rating 10% or 25%. We will lose 250k. <clears throat> what I'm going to have to do here, even if I take this... Oh, this is going to be bad. If I take this away, you know what? I'm not going to go over it. I'm going to go inside it. Just like that. And that's where we're going to have our guys. Can we go over? Probably not. We're going to go like that. We're going to go all the way we can. And we're going to curvature. If it lets me. No, we're going to have to go straight. No, we don't want to do that. We're going to go around. I mean, I can do a gate and get this inside. Actually, yeah, let's do that. That's what I wanted to do, wasn't it? So let's delete that one and go back to fence. And we're going to want to cross over here at some point, but we want to stay out of range of this dude as well. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to kind of come across here. We're going to keep far away from that. And then the fence. And over here, we can keep going down. And we're going to have all the amenities that side, so that's good. Uh, that wasn't a very well-placed gate, John. We're going to come down here. Come just off. And about there looks good. And we're going to put a gate in there. I mean, sure, why not? We're going to get as much space as we can here. Don't do it. Come on. I wish there was a way to... to not... to make it not do the gate. Anyway, we're going to come down this way, and can we attach to this? I don't think we can, no. And bang. That's all she wrote. So that's a large paddock. We have the tour guide going straight through there, so when they arrive at the park, that's where they'll be going first. I do want to do this a bit better, because it's going to irritate me. And we're going to make it nice and flush. Except for this part, obviously, because we want to stay away from the T-Rex pen. And come on, let me just go closer... If I stretch it out fully, then the gate goes away. Yeah, I mean, that's better than it was before. Now, we're going to take away some trees. Although it's incredibly expensive to do this. But we have to. Let's just thin them out, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, we're going to get some water in there. Uh, we don't need a lot. Because we're going to have some herbies in here. There we go. Uh, I just want to have a look at the T-Rex area here. So if we look at the top over there, that's just touching the fence over here. But I think we're going to be okay. Because these guys are in vehicles. And uh, the, the Herbies aren't going to be in, uh, in, an, in a bad area there. Now having a look around. It's not as big as I thought it would be. But I think we'll still be okay. Let's unpause. And then we're going to be moving a whole lot of stuff. I mean, this expedition center can go anywhere. You know, it can go there if we wanted to. And this kind of thing we're going to do as we go so 2.1 stars so we need other dinosaurs in here and we need the expedition center at the same time to increase the rate at which we're able to get dinosaurs we need to increase the staff limit so that's done there's a staff limit there so we need 2.5 stars for large amenities and the staff limit so here cheaper research improved cost the science center and over here paleomedical facility cheaper treatment I mean, this kind of stuff I need, to, I need to tick off the list as we go. We're just going to do it. Cheaper research, and we need five welfare, which is going to be that. <clears throat> Let's go. And keep chiseling away at that while we chisel away at everything else. And we're going to keep it on fast forward as well. Because now we're just waiting. <clears throat> I like this. I like this idea. Uh, not, ha not having to use this over here. It's going to build a massive fence down here. Very close to this massive one, and then divide it into maybe three... And then, bang, just have uh, have carnivores in there. What's wrong with you, sir? Infected wound. Go to research. We need to research the infected wound medication. So we're going to have to wait because we need 2.5 stars to actually progress further here. Asset has been transported. Transport. Oh, so we're going to slow down there. 
And then we're just going to get this guy sorted before we have a look at what's happening with the, the Dilofo. Uh, cheaper research, and we need Welfare 4, so we're just going to use you. Now, they could be panicking or fighting because of many reasons. Uh, but we want to make sure it isn't because of their area. So, two of one prey, slow K. The water's fine, the environment is fine, population is fine. So, they're just having a bit of a row, which is fine. Now, this guy is going to be sent across. When that research is done, he will be repaired. So, my percentage has dropped because I had that uh, protest. But I wanted to look at the electricity. How are we doing with that? <clears throat> there we go, 180, 180. Can I do the research for this now? Nope. Park rating to three stars. You see, this is where they're going to make it slightly more difficult, which is fine. As soon as I hit 2.5 stars, I'm going to have to do 7 million things. Uh, can we? Oh, we can. Look at that. Look at that. See, I like the way they've designed this power, power plant because they have this inside section here so you can still do the road. So we're going to do that, although I don't think this path's going anywhere. I might have to redo this. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me go through there. Can I go up? Definitely not. Can I go out? No. No, I'm going to have to delete that. Or move building <laughs> when it's done is probably a better idea. Oh, come on. Uh, buy the correct materials. Lose 125k. Uh, three times remaining task time. No. We're going to have to lose money here because we need power <clears throat> immediately. We're going to fast forward 37 seconds. And can we go get some more Paki? So you want Paki and Chasmosaurus. There we go. But uh, we want to do the one first, the one that's going to be done first. So Chasmosaurus is going to be first. And so we have 49 and 31. So we're going to wait for one more. Chasmosaurus... Uh, faster, cheap expeditions, and we need everyone else's uh, disloyal. So he's disgruntled. We need five. So we're just going to use you, and then we're going to send off some people to have a rest. Those two can be used one more time. Look at that, guys. Two point two stars, two hundred eighty-one, and we're going to pause right there, and we're going to move the building. So. We don't want any more over there because it's going to be very crowded. I'm thinking further down here is where I'm going to go because we need a power supply coming from this area as well. So if one of these lines break, it doesn't lose all power. And I think over here is going to be just a fantastic place for this to be. And we're going to get some electricity going as well. And of course, people need to get into the building. Okay, good, go. Fan food, fantastic 2.3 stars guys so it's large amenities it's increased power output and that's what we currently want uh we do have someone who's sick dilophosaurus let's make sure it's not something i need to do no he's fine undiagnosed ailment where's the mvu there he comes let's fast forward we are fast forwarding 2.3 stars we are cruising Let's see what's wrong with you. Minor wounds? No, nope. let's see. Research is required. That's why I stick around for a little bit. Uh, oh no, this is the worst thing in the world. So I want to pause straight away. The avian flu, it just, it's so glitchy. On my um, Chaos Theory run, it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't. I 100% I quarantined all dinosaurs that had it, and it just wouldn't work. So we're going to use this. We're going to use the smallest little fence. We're just going to put a little fence off this for now. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything spectacular. And then we're going to have to trank. Now, I want to send both capture teams. Just whoever gets here first is the winner. Come on. Oh, good. He's right there. The second he's tranked. Ah, oh, see, there's another one. You have to sometimes you have to move away. There we go. You see a trank straight away. Pause. Once again, this one is right here, so he'll be here way before the other one. 
uh, this guy needs to be taken away straight away. And uh, this has to be done at such an increased pace. And if I'm able to do it, then fantastic. But uh, the pox definitely spreads very quickly. The second he's tranked, we're going to pause again. We're going to get the transport going. And hopefully it'll just be these two. Because last time I had uh, birds and fish that had them. And I had to separate them both. And that just wouldn't work. They just wouldn't separate. I mean, they would separate, they just wouldn't uh, cure. So we're going to go to fossils. We're going to sell all of this. Uh, we have, where am I going? So that one and this one. We're going to get that going right there. We need genetic six. One more and you'll be disgruntled. Then we're going to go over to, whoa, pause. No. Atmosphere among. Okay, so uh, if you look, the best way to do this is to go and select the research that's needed so i want to pause that for a second although i don't need to uh to go to the research that you need is what i was trying to say and then if you pin that node the avian pox right there if you pin that node then in the bottom right hand corner you'll see straight away if it's working or not so here comes the one oh electric fence failure so this is definitely avian pox hey yes so the fence is now Sabotage. I just want to make sure there's no fences over here. Reboot, reboot, reboot. Task is full. So we use the other guy. And he's over here. So let's just see if there's any fences that need it doing over here. So reboot that sucker. And now let me guess you are full. Come on. There we go. One more. Task is full. So we're just going to see what happens here, guys. Uh, all I want to do is see that bottom right hand corner. The second this guy's in this paddock. I want to see that tick down straight away. Come on, do it. Asset transportation complete. Yes, please. Yes. That is very fantastic. Fantastic enough to create its own save game. Trust me, it's a big thing that this has worked because almost completely ruined my Chaos Theory playthrough. Fast forward, baby. Go. We're going to pause there for a second again because uh, this guy had... Yeah, he's returning to the facility when he could be doing that. I don't know how you're going to get there, but good luck anyway. And then the other guy is rebooting fence, and he can have one more guy right there. Okay, <clears throat> unpause. Go, 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 go. Low health. Uh, let's see what's happening there. Repair at base. Well, yeah, he's going back. I guess this guy, oh, I didn't check up here for fences. So, returning to facility, add task. Can you reboot that gate for me? Although, yeah, we want you to do that. And then that task is full. See, this is the problem with having these guys assigned to everything. When it comes to rebooting fences or to repairing, you kind of just have to go as you go. Do one at a time. There we go. Avian flu is now researched. Oh, it's researched as well. So... We're just going to do something random over here for the hell of it. As you can see, my money is super good. Fast research, cheaper research. No, he's disgruntled. So we'll do cheaper research. And you. <clears throat> yeah, go. So we're going to pause straight away and make sure these guys are good. We're going to do this the easy way. Let's do that. So we're going to tell the mobile unit to come and uh, sort these two out. Because they'll be out of range. And uh, someone is eventually going to get around to that. Yeah, he's eventually getting through there. And we're done. See, that was a sabotage which was a little bit more hardcore. And uh, these guys are still kind of mosing around here. Tasks full. Tasks full. You know, I'm just... Oh, I think I kind of just want to... I'm going to build another unit over here. Another uh, ranger team and that kind of thing. And then this ranger team will only look after this paddock and these paddocks down here. And this one over here will look after these guys. I think that's a good idea. Uh, because the paddock is going to come somewhere off here. Big paddock over there. And then I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to divide this into three. So I could actually do it here. But um, I think for now, I want to focus on the larger amenities. I need one, a point one more to get my five stars. Uh, this is when you have a look at the guest. If there's even 1% we can go up. Yes, restroom and shelter coverage. 
will make that go up. So if we head to op uh, guests, shelter, it'll show us where it's needed. Nowhere. I mean, I could just plonk one down here, although I do a lot of amenities down here in hotels. I could just do one over here, just for the hell of it. I don't think it's going to make any difference. But I could just do this as well. <clears throat> See where the restroom's needed. There's no guests down there yet. Uh, it's going to be this little corner over here, right at the start. So I can do a restroom over here, and that's going to get me to 2.5 stars. Come on. There we go. 30 seconds. We'll have 2.5 stars. And the shelter I could do here as well. There wasn't enough to do thingies down there. Uh, let's have another look at research while I'm waiting for that. Let's get the next guy out and about. So we have Chasmosaurus and the 2.5 Triceratops, Triceratops, Struthio, Styracosaurus is what we want. You guys are next. So cheap expeditions and we need four more logistics. You are disgruntled. We're going to have to use two of these guys. Fine. And we want disgruntled. Before you go disgruntled, I want to increase your... Oh, you're already full. Okay, go. So you can be trained. You are autistic salary. We kind of want you to go welfare. We needed the welfare to go up. And you're on an expedition. Okay. So, that's going to take me to 2.5 stars very quickly. Uh, again, I just need to make sure these guys are eventually going to be rebooting these fences. And tasks full. So, I can do two at a time, pretty much. Or do it manually once they're there. Come on. 2.5 stars. Let's go. Yeah, so these guys, they already have to go quite far away. You're going inside to do that, are you? And where are you? There you are. Add task. Go do the last one over here, please. Thank you. And you're about to be done. Okay, good. So, uh, we could have a look at contracts. Oh, I've got an objective. See if we can do an easy one. Construct something new. Keep your dinosaurs disease-free. New research done. Um, disease-free is the most. See, it now just glitches over and over again. Uh, so this is done, and it hasn't gone to 2.5 stars, which is unfortunate. Uh, what I'm going to do is a couple more Dilophos. Uh, another salary. So we definitely can't do that now. <laughs> we need some guys to be rested. And uh, when it comes to... Yeah, he's okay, and we've got someone out that's looking for now. Remain disease-free disease -free for five minutes. That's fine. What are you going to do? Run to this edge? Oh, he's running after the Jeep. <laughs> so once we've got Casmos in there, I want to do some serious carnivores down that side there we go 2.5 stars right guys here we go so i could do 500k straight away to get the scientists up but i think even before that i want to get the amenities if the larger amenities are up and if the larger amenities are full my money is going to skyrocket so we're going to wait for these guys to finish resting there we go and we're going to go straight to the large amenities Final Fantasy XIV live? No, I don't want that. Uh, so staff busy. We need nine logistics. So we're going to wait for these guys to come back. And uh, can we upgrade anyone? We can, but he's on an expedition. Yeah, so it's going to be amenities and then staff center. Because we've kind of got our improved output and that kind of thing. Uh, not improved output, sorry. That's going to be afterwards. But this expedition, I really need to get faster extraction. It makes this a whole lot quicker. But as you can see, money is looking very good. 361, and the money is going to rocket up once we've done that. So let's see. We've got some selling here. Styracosaurus, Chasmosaurus. We want both of these guys. They are going to be into the middle. Okay, here we go. We have two more slots. There we go. And we need genetic specialists. It's fine. Let's go do that. These guys are going to have to rest. Uh, damn it, I could have upgraded her first. Uh, unassigned. So we can train you. And, I mean, we want logistics. You being cheaper expeditions. And we'll have to get that up to three. And you can rest as well. And then, uh, I don't think we can do Dilophos yet. And we can. Three, four, five. Yep. Let's go. Let's do another batch. 
And then uh, we can get some Cosmos in the middle here. Let's do that. Okay, I've got my job. Share play job for Monday. Thanks. I was going to say the name, but we can't do that. Okay, so expedition available. Yeah, we kind of do want to keep going for the Casmo. Struthio, he's full though. He's done. So Apatosaurus, Dryosaurus, Celiophysis, Struthio, Triceratops. So there's no one else here. So I'm assuming that the fossils that I have are going to make them full. Yeah, probably. Let's uh, fast forward and have a look and get these guys sorted here. It's actually pretty cool, because the one side you can set up for the Chasmosaurus, other one the Styracosaurus, although they, they might uh, eat the same thing. Come on, research. Let's go. Ah, oh, shit, another storm. So we're going to save pre-storm there. I only just heard that. And when the storm comes, this time we're going to open up our... our gates, our shelters, because if someone escapes... And gets eaten then uh trouble's gonna happen see now what i should do i wonder if it's gonna be worth my while i've never done this before doing the ranger teams and removing all of their assignments i'm doing it so they're not going to be patrolling pretty much but it does free up me being able to repair buildings and that so i think that's a fantastic idea life hack there <clears throat> go so off the bat, we're going to select Ranger Team 1, add task, and see what needs to be repaired. So the last thing we're going to do is do the response facility, because he'll go offline straight away. Having a look over here, we can do Expedition Center. Sure. And down here, we can do these ones, so we'll select someone else. Now, you better hurry up with that. Oh, you can repair that gate as well. You have to hurry up a lot with that. And select the other guy to repair this building. And repair that gate. They've got two slots free. Uh, you better hurry up with these gates. Yeah, I don't want Dilophosaurus running around here. Uh, let's go over here and select the Ranger team again so we can see what needs to be repaired. And this fence right here. Go do that. <clears throat> Disease free. Why, well, thank you. Let's one. get another contract going straight away. I mean, might as well, hey. 115,000. We're on 4 millions. We're good. So, hatch genetically modified dinosaurs. I'll do that all the time. Uh, 600,000, 400. So, we, we're going to do that one because it's hatch dinosaurs, which is something we're going to do very soon. And now it's going to ask me again. Do I want a contract or not? Anything else need repairing here? The gates are repaired down there. You see, if, if the spanner has no square around it, that means someone has already been assigned to it. Like this over here has no square around this box. Oh, shit, we're going to pause. And this one has a square around it, which means no one's been assigned. So we're going to assign our second guy to that right there. And then what we're going to do, because we have to do this anyway, we're going to put it... Oh, look at that. It, it does everything. Yeah, so Ranger Team 1... Uh, we have to do direct control because they are... Yeah, so we have to wait for that to be repaired. And then we're going to do all the assignments, but this time we're going to include that one. And then we're going to build other guys over here and do it that side. I think I kind of just want to do it now for the hell of it. I'm going to pause. I'm going to do this. Response facility. And we're going to have guys over here. So if I do it kind of just a bit further back... I mean, I'm not going to have, I'm going to have large amenities here, and then I'm going to have the tour ride starting here, or even just extend this tour ride all the way through. But uh, if it gets too big, then the cars will be too spaced out, I've just realized. So I think from this point, I'm going to do another little city. I'm going to do more things over here and do amenities and everything from here. So that means I want, so if my gate's going to come, oh, sorry, I'm just thinking about this. I'm going to have amenities and stuff down here i'm going to have this whole area as paddocks which means i can have this guy down here yeah so we're going to have these guys somewhere in the middle down this point um <laughs> i kind of want to do it here facing this way i mean they should be right next to the paddocks it's difficult to do it with before doing the paddocks you know so if i built a oh shit my things are still open if I do 
the fence first, it's going to give me a better idea. So I can research the big fence, which is what I want to do. And I also need the large amenities. So mm -hmm. amenities first. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Faster research, cheaper research, and one more logistics, which is generalist. It's going to make time go down. So we'll do that. Then we will build the fence, just the fencing for that paddock, so I can get an idea of what's cutting. But I want to use the big fence because there's no point in using other ones. <clears throat> okay, so Ranger Team 1. We're going to assign you to there. 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 And there. As well as Ranger Team 2. You're going to be assigned to the same ones. Right there. And for the time being, you can be... No, you know what? You're not going to be assigned there. We're going to assign you to all of these. I wonder if they go in the order that I assign it. I don't know. And then the mobile unit. I think the mobile unit, like I was saying before, only gets called out if there is an issue like that. Which means you might as well be assigned to that one. Oh, he was assigned. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. This means we're going to have a look at our fossils. And 94.6, that's going to make it 100%. On the Styracosaurus, but I want to make sure there isn't more here. Oh, hello. Here we have 1.4 million, and I've got plenty enough to do this. So I'm just going to do all of them. Why not? And we need four welfare. Done. Bang, bang. So we're going to have a look at the uh, Chasmosaurus and the Styracosaurus. So that's correct. We only need four over here, and I'm just going to do it. I know it's going to be a waste of it's only 50 grand, but we're going to get that 100%. And at the same time, we can start incubating the Chasmosaurus after we look at the uh, at the color. So the first batch I like to do the new color, which is that one. Having a look over here, we want them to be resilient. But again, not as important as it used to be. The long-lived is what we want. We don't want our dinosaurs dying. So there we go. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that. But he is set up for the next time. All right, let's do it. All righty, here we go. So we have some research coming up here. We have the Cosmosaurus, which is going to be done in a second. And we have these guys incubating. And we need those guys to finish. So, large amenities. We're going to pause right there because this means a lot has to happen now. Firstly, I'm going to rearrange all of those. Or I'm thinking now, do I actually want to? If I put these amenities down here and they, they don't get full, that's going to be an issue. Because there is a dinosaur thing here now. There is a reason to come here. I'm thinking maybe I could get away with it. <clears throat> the first thing to do here, let's see, Korean barbecue. So we're going to go down to large amenities. We're going to head over to food. And we're going to place one. And uh, unfortunately, it's just too close to that, which sucks. So we're going to do it here. But we are going to do it as far to the right as possible. And uh, in doing so, oh, come on. You know what? You can move because there's no need for you to be right there and when we can have space for the sucker right there. Yeah? We come 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 a bit further back. Can come a bit further back. Let's see if we can get closer. No. So we're gonna get as close as we can to that uh, power substation and we're gonna plonk it right there. Come on. I mean, I could, I'm doing it so carefully because it could mean one fraction. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Jesus, John, we're going to plonk it right down there. <clears throat> we're going to continue. And then we're going to delete the food and see how full this guy gets, how quickly. And over here, these definitely have to be changed. So, this one over here is the shop. We might as well do the shop right next to it. And again, hopefully this is going to be in a good enough spot. I think maybe I could do it here. Because this is where there are more. I mean, even there would be good. I kind of want to do it where that one is. But uh, I feel over here is going to be just as good. So we're going to have to get some more power going there. And uh, again, like I was saying before, I was messing with the amenities at the start of the game. And then you only mess with them once again now. I want to put this guy behind this amenity. So it doesn't mess around with the guys coming up. <clears throat> we're going to put you right there. And we're going to go, go. So this guy's going to be done first. We're going to fast forward. Although we're not. Because there's things we can do. Okay, Dilophosaurus, you're going to be airlifted down here. 
And once again, we're going to see what is going to be needed. So we're going to put another prey in there, just for the hell of it. You can even do two. You know? And then even one meat. And then we're going to see what these guys need. So if we come up here, they're not going to need a lot. They're totally fine on the area. And that's going to increase 2.2 stars. Okay, so you have been done. We're going to pause right there. No, we're not going to pause. We're going to delete this. Then we're going to fast forward. As you can see, it's got 308 straight away. So we're going to pause. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to go bento sushi. Now we have to do this. It's it's tedious, but it's it's what we have to do to get uh, to get a win here. So 4.562 on candy. 6.2 is the winner. 7.9 on donuts. 8.9 on wraps. 8.9. We have 13.5 on Korean barbecue. I think that's going to be the winner. Yes, it is. Let's go down. Next up, Aquarium. 19.9 is the winner. 21 on fossil display. Keep going. 25 on skeletal. So we'll just jump to that. And what else do we have here? 20. We have to wait for more people to come in here. We do have 25. No, nope. that's done. So, I mean, that's already earning more than the other one. So next up is going to be the smoothies. So let's delete the smoothies. Fast forward. And then we're going to place this and then go back to the other one. Come on, go. Pause. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go large amenity. We're going to go smoothies. Bang, next to it. And then, of course, we're going to have the shop next to that. And then we should be A-OK. -okay. I'm going to put it closer this way because we kind of need it to be close to this. And then there's going to be space for another one there. So that's fine. Over here, we have the shopping, which is 280 of 100. And this is going to be 375 still. So I wonder if, if they're both making a profit, do I need to change it? Normally, I would delete the other one straight away. But let's have a look. 3269 on books. 69 so far is the winner. 69 is the winner. Now, I wonder if it's going to affect it. 13.7 so far, and we have... Nope, 13.7 is going to be the winner. We're going to do that one right there. Uh, what else do we have? 1,600 is highest so far. 1,800 on the info, infotainment. 19 on the photo booth. And that's going to be the winner. Yep, 19 photo booth. There we go. What else do we have here? Charity boxes. No one else is going to go higher than that. Oh, we have 19. No. Now, the problem with this potential problem is 27K. He's still okay. That's very weird. It's a little bit far apart, but I mean, if they're both making a profit, the problem is if he's full, then... I could be losing out some money here, but if he needs more people, he could be giving me a hundred grand. So, I mean, I'm just going to save here and challenge five, and I'm going to delete this and see what happens. Let's see, 718 bang. It's gone up to 72,000. So I want to pause that. I want to see if I can do anything else here. 71, they should go up to about 100K or 95K. So we're going to give that a little bit of time to gel and then we're going to come back here and pause this so he's already on 33,000 so we're going to see if we need more 33.7 is a bit higher 34.7 34.7 34.7 for these two do we have anything more from here no not yet and for you sir what do we have Bottled water, uh, 11,000 for coffee. 11,000 for coffee is the winner so far. 11,6 for smoothies. Mm, smoothies. That's also 11,6, so we'll leave it at that. 22K, 16, 13, 21. Yeah, 22 is going to be, oh, there's 25 there. Skeletal display. Okay, do we have 29? We have 29. Do we have any more? We have another 29,5. What is it now? 29.1. So we'll see if it's better than 29.5. It's only going to pop up a little bit now. 29.1. So 29.5 is going to be good. 
and most likely not have anything else until more peeps get in here. Okay, good. And uh, you, sir, have zero on the shopping because there's not enough entertainment around here. Let's get you unpaused, fast forward a little bit. And then get you sorted out. So, 6-3, we have 7,000 on books. We have 8,000 on hats. What else do we have? 8,000 is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're going to have 15,000 on aquarium. Is this paused? It should be paused. Uh, 15,000 on aquarium is going to be the winner. Yes, it is. Until we get some more peeps in here. 16,000. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? 19,000 on digital ordering. 19 is the winner. 19,2. Oh, we have 20 on the photo booth. Do I see higher than 20? No, photo booth we're going to go to straight away. Where's he gone? Sound man, I'm seeing everything here. 20,000 photo booth. What else? Uh, 26, and this is on 22. So we could have charity boxes. 20.6 is the highest, so we might as well do charity boxes. <clears throat> there we go. And that's probably going to be the max. Okay, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Did I see something there? We go from the bottom up. And that's why I keep getting confused, because it comes down to the ones I already have, and it, it goes blue. So, no. Now I'm going to save again, because it's never really a lot of fun sorting out amenities. But uh, we're going to fast forward for one, two, three seconds. Then we're going to have a look. 364,000. And I haven't even... See, that's full straight away. Okay, so two and a half stars. 34% on average. So I want to pause one more time here. Because there's a couple of things I need to do. I need to get two more amenities in there. And then I need to do the outline of the next paddock here. And then start throwing in the Chasmosaurus into these guys. So that's pretty much what I want to do here. So Chasmosaurus has been... Uh, yes, he's been modified. He's fine. Do I have enough to start getting him? Yes, I definitely do. So, we'll use genetics and we need one more. So, cheap expeditions, altruistic salary, you are the winner. Now, I can do additional bays. We're going to go back and move this into fast forward here. So, uh, we don't have enough, but we will at a later stage. So, Styracosaurus I can do, but we're going to be modifying. And that's probably going to make him... Uh, oh, you don't have a very good skin color there. It's probably going to make him um, he need more scientists. So we're going to go for resilient. No, we're going to go long life all the way. And then one resilience. That's all she wrote. Yeah, it's going to make it a bit more. That's fine. That's fine. We have that on the go. Uh, I need to keep my scientists for that. So I will unpause for a second. And then pause again straight away. <laughs> so food and drink. And we have shopping. So 75k. And these two are going to be 75k. So I need to delete those two. And do drink and food. That's what we need. Okay. We're going to fast forward. Although I can do one of them over here. Because they're not both going to fit there. We're going to do food there. The lack of space. I'll have to have a look at the... Uh, thingy and we're going to pause and we or what is a drink right so we have shopping food over there and then we need drink over here like so okay the last time we have to do these amenities i might do more that side but i mean if you're able to do them if you find you think there's enough people to do them then do them because they are your money makers okay pause we pause it because we don't want these numbers to fluctuate as we're trying to sort it out so here we go yeah, so he's on the outside. So Donuts, 12,000 is the winner. So far, let's go back up to Donuts. Where are you? There you are. 12,3. 31,000. We'll just do that straight away. 33,000, 39,000. Look at that. We'll do that as well. 41,000. We'll do the claw machine. And 49,000. Sure. These guys are not fucking... I'm messing around. Sorry. So here we have 51,000. 51,000. Look at that. Yep, he's the winner, so we'll go back to 51, and that's probably probably going to be all of it. Yep, fantastic. So, this guy's not finished building. Let's fast forward. The second they are registered like that, we go to... Okay, the last amenity we have to deal with for a while. So, 22,000 is the winner so far. We're going to keep going down. Yep, 22. Takes the cake. So, 42 will go straight to that one. Jumps up so much, just do that one. 55,000. Do I see more? 64,000. Yeah, we'll do 64. 
And what else do we have here? You're gonna give us one more, go up to 70 something. No siree. Okay, so that's just fantastic. It's always tedious doing that. Um, what I wanna do just for the head of it is randomize all of these. Randomize so they all look different. Who can't get to where you're going? Where can't you go? I'm pausing this for a second. Uh, he's saying you can't get there. That's a little weird. Because you can. <clears throat> okay, well. Each their own. Let's have a look over here. Uh, let's have a look at the Chasmosaurus. Yep, so we're going to do that straight away. And we need Welfare of 5. So we'll use one of him. And then the Altruistic Salary, which is 4. But uh, I want to keep the other guys. <clears throat> uh, what I want to do here as well is have a look at the Chasmosaurus. Uh, he's been modified already. And we need six and one. Cheaper research, they're all going to be used. So let's do that. Now I want to come down here and have a quick look at the Dilophos. I'll have a look at my Alpha. Is he the same one? Yeah, he's very... Okay, so social. Good. See, that affects the whole territory, which is good. The area need, chance of socialize, and dominance. So other than that, these guys are... I just want to see if they've got enough prey. Yeah, four, one, that's fine. They still only need one. That's crazy. But as you can see now, there's a big red area around them. But it's fine. They're all on their own. And that's a good paddock. That's a good one. A good one to use. Okay, so I'm going to think even more ahead now at, wait, I needed something. I needed the fences is what I wanted. I wanted to research the fences so I could do the next paddock. So let's do that. I can't believe I remember that. Here we go. So we need cheaper research, faster research, and we need one more Genetic specialist or cheap expeditions. We might do an expedition now because we want carnivores. Okay, so I need more money. What can I do here for the hell of it? Struthios. I mean, do you do Struthios? Could throw some Struthios in there somewhere. And we, he could bring back some uh, items to sell. But now, if we have a look at the monies, guys, it's going to be lovely. 378. I was expecting it to be a bit more because these guys are earning double, well, except for that one. Uh, these guys are still okay. I just got to keep a track track of that. I just need this um, I need this fence to finish so I can do the outline of the carnivores and then do the next uh, ranger center over here, the capture center, and then I could get someone assigned to that. Otherwise, I'm going to be putting more dinosaurs in this area. I'm going to delete this across here, or I could just leave those as they are and put a different dinosaur in here. I could do some of the Crichtonosaurus or something like that because it's a smaller area. But we'll see. So here we go. Chasmosaurus. 660,000. So we've got Chasmosaurus there. And we've got two Chasmosaurus. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, somebody had Parasaurolophus said he had a... Uh, no, okay. He's done already. <laughs> That's how quick they sorted out. I haven't even gotten down here yet. I mean, I can do easily. I could easily do amenities down here. And you know something? It's kind of a waste that I haven't. Let's be honest. Um, let me just check out the guest. Do I need accommodation? No. But um, I want to put amenities down here, even if it is small ones. But uh, one thing at a time, we want to get this up and running. Here we go, Chasmosaurus. Get in there. We're going to put you all on this side for now. Just for the hell of it. Incubation, Chasmosaurus is up next. And genetics. Damn, I need you to be upgraded one more time. And you're going to be disgruntled after that. But I do not care of such things. Uh, the Chasmosaurus itself needs ground leaf, open space, and forest. And that's what we're going to do. So, ground leaf, ground fiber, ground leaf. So, this whole side over here is going to be ground leaf. And we're going to do forest, but only along the edges slightly, because they're not going to need a lot. Just over there. I don't know, hey? Now we're just going to wait for these guys to hurry up. Wait for them to hurry up. Wait for them to get there. And we're going to build our fence, which is going to be researched. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that done? There would be notification. There is notification on there. Okay, pause. This is what needs to happen for me to move forward. So, we have fences, large electrified fence. That is the largest one, right? That's heavy fence. 25, 50. So, what? What is happening with you? Oh, uh, <laughs> I haven't even built the hatchery yet. Uh, focus here, John. We have 12, 19, 25, and that's, that's, it is, this is the large one. 
just heavy fence so it's not electrified which is fantastic okay so let's have a look at how we're going to do this i'm going to put a paddock smack bang across this whole thing over here and then just have one tour ride maybe from this side here i need it to be far away from that and then i could even do another one there but i'm going to keep that one over there because i mean if, if your amenities are full then you're wasting so at the moment i need some more traction down here and i most likely will put a guest attraction to get some more cash out of there but for now let's stick with what i was going to do we're just going to have a monstrous paddock from here all the way over here and i think over here is where i'm going to want some amenities so we'll go to a straight fence and the tour rides and that kind of thing but um it's probably going to have to go all the way down i'll explain why because uh we want those uh, platforms that is to encourage more people to come around and so we're going to kind of hug this fence not too dramatically just like that like that uh we might as well come in over here because i do want another one or two t-rexes but uh that's gonna be eventually <clears throat> okay good now i have an idea of what's happening here so i want to get my response facility and i want this response facility to be automatically selected when i'm on here so i want to put it in this kind of corner here but at the same time i want it to get to these bottom guys very quickly so it kind of needs to be in the middle here so if i'm going to close this off i could put some more platforms over here looking down here to increase the guest count <clears throat> but i think the amenity things should come over here because here I can put platforms looking out at all of these and just zigzag that uh, that talk that park tour all the way around but I think as well we're going to put it here we're going to put them right over here facing this direction ready to assist this line of paddocks and the paleo medical as well so we're going to put you right there <clears throat> then we're going to get the pathway going this is a non- Oh, I can't go too close to that. It's a non-customer path, so we can just do the thin one. And we're going to go straight onto that. We're going to have a little bit of a, an area away from that because... Hmm, actually, I should actually leave that. I should have actually had more of a gap here because of the... This is a pathway and these dinos will... They're going to be intelligent. So I've got to have more of an area between me and those uh, buildings so let's have a look at how much area we need so we're going to come just like that no need to be stingy with the space come on okay you're going to be you know what fine and we're going to delete the rest <clears throat> good so let's get this done and dusted and we can start getting our uh our dinosaurs being farmed or should i say excavated and we're going to have another pylon over here just for these two guys it's fine we're going to do it right there uh yeah screw it we're going to come from this side can we go more this way no we're going to go right there in there i'm just actually have a look at the power situation because now i've done the large amenities <clears throat> i need to do the upgrades for the power output otherwise we're going to have too much space being used up for the power supply so we're going to go to electricity and this is the one here increase uh, gain access to wider power this one here increased power upgrades uh, repeater station large substation hold on there we go increased output so increased park ready to three stars okay so that's something we can pin because nothing else is pinned we have some guys back on the okay we have to decide what carny we want do we want the the Conotosaurus, do we want the Majungasaurus? Uh, do we don't want the more Velocis? And there we have Velociraptor. This is going to be the Crichtonosaurus up there. We don't want the Proceratosaurus or the Compsognathus right yet. So I'm thinking, what is the more expensive one? Uh, how do I see what is the better appeal? <clears throat> Let's have a look at the genome library here quickly. So uh, this is the Conoto, and he is going to be uh where is his appeal it's not going to give me the appeal yet is it or am i just not seeing it insufficient insufficient genome data so dominance appetite thirst it's not going to give me an appeal rating but it's fine because we probably have both in any way because we want 
this whole area to be carnivores. So there's the Mijangosaurus and there's a the Carnotosaurus. So I think I just like the look of the Mijanga to be completely honest. So we're going to go for him. And technically he's 270. They're both 270. Yeah. Let's go with Mijanga because why not? Cheap expeditions and we need four more of that. We'll go faster research. Yeah. Mijanga it is. Unpause. Right. Now the second those guys are done. We can adjust that, and uh, when I fill this guy up eventually, then we can start moving on to these guys. So I should have, uh, like I normally do, scatter these guys further around the paddock. 32 seconds. But uh, we want to get the other ones going. We want the Styracosaurus going. Staff busy, so then we'll wait. Just a little bit though. Okay. I'm going to pause right there. I was just want to have a look at my amenities. You see, these guys are quite low on the amenities. They do have the attraction here. But if I can even get a platform over here, something like this, even looking in this direction at even potential dinosaurs, it's going to increase them as well. But I think for this, and I could just put it there. What else am I going to put here, really? Let's get them as close as we can. I could even go there. That might be better, hey? Let's do that. And then even do another one because there's nothing else I want to put there. I need to try and get as many guys as possible in this area. Although that appeal is going to be nothing. Okay, so we're going to head over to the vehicle location. Uh, see, they're all out and about. And I can't use that. So where are you guys? You're all the way down there. I need you guys to come up here as soon as possible. So Ranger Team 1, ah, direct control. Okay, so I need to find where you guys are. What am I doing? Zoom out, John. And then go to vehicles. So, those are park rides. Where's the damn Jeep? You can't both be that. Seriously? You guys are here. And I don't understand where my other Jeeps are. Are they amongst these guys? Oh, there they are. There. <clears throat> Standing by. Okay, so we've got quite a far way to go here. Direct control. If I follow that line there, we'll go. No, I've already lost it. <laughs> oh my lord i am losing my shit here uh these guys can't go either can they no nope, but i think they might be a bit easier he's quite far away and this guy's gonna have to go over all these cars you know what <laughs> let's just go this is why i like to have one or two of them that are not assigned because this kind of thing see where we're going i can see it in the distance they want more shopping amenities because there's no shopping amenities without any power open the gate open yeah there we go you see this would happen last time i'm trying to hoot and uh it doesn't let me it goes to a different screen okay rebooting move oh my lord these things are like on ice all the time terrible track you have to push square to kind of get traction okay so that's going to reboot that and that's going to turn on all my amenities including you now if you push l2 and skid you'll do a tighter turn okay so that's pretty much what the uh the calamities are chasmosaurus let's airlift you we're going to put you one there one there one there and then we want more chasmosaurus no. Chasmosaurus. Uh, what do we have? Six of seven. So we need you and you're disgruntled. So we're going to have to use you for now. And we're going to send someone else to some rest, which is you. Okay, no one else can be upgraded. Um, what I was waiting for next was the, the staff upgrade. The power is going to happen when it happens. But right now we need the staff. So 500k, which is not a lot at all. Uh, yeah, so we want to do that. 500k, we need logistics. So let's fast forward. And we're going to not... Well, we're going to unpause and just go down to normal speed. And get our pathway. This one needs to be wide. Now, the appeal for this isn't going to be that good. <laughs> 142. But it will literally increase this by a couple of people, pretty much. Now, like I was saying before, I can put another uh, attraction in here. Um, I wonder... 
Can I do this? Are you going to let me attach to that? No. So, I mean, I can do that better. Let's pause that for a second. I just want to see, because uh, I'm going to have trouble getting attractions or getting people to this attraction, to these amenities. Uh, this can be a short path. We're just going to go as close as we can to this. Like that. And then bang, in there. Because, potentially... I could get an attraction in there. No, not that way at least. Sideways? Come on. Oh man, you see how close it is. It's just hitting that one there. And then it's obstructed by that path. Unlucky. So, there are no other attraction type things. So, let's refill this. And keep to my plan here. And just to top up this... Yeah, we want all of these 1.1 million. That's fine. We're going to wait for our guys to be cool. So, we have the Styracosaurus, which is going to be... Well, the Chasmosaurus, which is going to be totally fine. Uh, we're going to have the next group of guys over here. We're going to have cheaper treatment or faster treatment. I think cheaper treatment is fine, because we don't really care about the speed of this right now. You guys, we want advanced scanners. No, we don't want that. Come on. Advanced scanners for now. Let's have a look at the... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Get some money. And now we have Majangosaurus and these guys as well. Yeah, he's going to go up super quick. Uh, yeah, three is the highest and three is the highest again. So, I really need to hire some more scientists. But for now, we're just going to use what we can. And we're going to send some guys on a bit of a rest. And then we can actually assign Ranger Team 5 to this outpost as well as the different MVU to this outpost here although it doesn't need to because there is one attached there ready uh, let's get a gate there it's not going to fit here is it no so we're going to pause that for a second we're going to have to do a little uh, jimmy with the gate here it has to be straight there we go and Dell eat and gate me. Done. That's a star for a star. Three star rating. Job Fan well Fugu Tastic. So seven fifty seven, seven fifty, at six forty four. So we, we're full. We're almost full there. These guys are okay. We can try and get a better attraction. If I pause it and have a look, I don't have the other ones yet. So there we go. We have the Ankylosaurus, swords, which is what we want to put in here. But first, we want the Majungasaurus in there. So as you can see, we've got a lot of guys resting. We're just going to keep trickling along. And we're going to get the Chasmosaurus up and running when we have enough welfare. And what I wanted to do, <coughs> excuse me, was the, the staff room. So we want to see if we can do that as soon as possible. Because then we have more scientists. There we go. 500,000. We still need guys. Now we don't want to send anyone else. We want to do the... These guys are still busy. We want to do the, uh, the the research first, so we don't want to send anyone out. Let's fast forward. Let's do a quick overview. Everyone's good. Ranger Team 2 cannot, again, they have the same problem. For some reason, he can't get right here where he's just about to go to. Same as you. I'd love to know what's up with that, eh? Together, here we go. Contract. Have all dinosaurs share it in enclosure with the liked species. You know. Increase number of guests. Keep your dinosaurs disease-free. So the so highest one is going to be disease-free. Let's do that one. Uh, is that enough for the research now? These free dinosaurs is our goal. Not some, no. but all. Two resting. Come on, let's go, let's Not go, let's go. As you'll soon prove. There we go. Bang. They're all going to get done at the same time. Okay, so no. We want to do <laughs> the staff room first. Then that's going to make everything be a lot easier here. So we have uh, disgruntled. Damn it. Cheaper research. And we have logistics, we need nine. So we can't use the five. We can use those two. No, we cannot. So we're going to have to wait for the five logistics. Which is what? Uh, I don't understand. Oh, they are disgruntled, so I need to send them off. We cannot uh, risk losing them. But it's okay. 
we're gonna wait for that to finish we're gonna have these guys which i probably could just do while i'm waiting for that which is welfare of four and then another welfare those two won't have to rest afterwards that's fine one minute is fine <clears throat> fast forward how is the Majungasaurus? Is he almost ready? 69% and I don't want to send anyone out to the the uh, the Ambers yet because I want to do this research first. Okay, so we're going to have one, I think maybe three. The lack of space. Let's just see what they're talking about here. We go to the crowd function over here. Yeah, they're talking bullshit. There's no red. Just a couple of yellows. And again, I could do amenities down there, which I'm going to be doing soon. I just want to get these scientists done, and I want to fill this up. And when this is full, I'm going to do this area as well as the downstairs area there to get some more money in here. But as you can see, the money is still pretty good. I mean, 460k a minute is just fantastic. Let's make sure we're keeping this on fast forward. And pretty much if you look at this, it's just going to be the appeal. So we definitely need some more guests or more hotels and we need appeal so we're just coming up to halfway of the appeal but once we start getting the big fellas you know <laughs> all right mr Casmosaurus, we're going to put you randomly around here another one in there okay so you guys are totally fine Casmosaurus, where's the star uh where's the styrocosaurus are you guys being airlifted did I not do any Styracosaurus yet? The way to check that is to see here, Chasmosaurus, and then Styracosaurus is zero. Okay, so I know. <laughs> I am going to do this research so everything else can go quicker. We're going to head there. We're going to head to the staff room. Bang. Faster research, cheaper research, and then altruistic salary. Go. Uh, can we do these guys at the same time? We can. So genetics and loyalist, go. Generalist, should I say? Okay, these guys need stasis check, but uh, there is someone assigned to that, so it should be all good. So the size in 17 seconds. Let's go, and then we can start the. There we go. One million. We're going to do it. So we need. There we go. We just need one more cheap expeditions and nothing. So we have to use you. Um, I could have sworn I did a. One batch of Styracosaurus in there. Obviously, I haven't. So your needs are met tenfold, so that's fine. I do love the... Oh, staff improvements. There we go. We are going to get down to a crawl. Uh, that's a bit weird. I just did staff improvements. So that doesn't let you... Oh, it allows you to train them more. Okay, what's the same thing? Uh, Paleomedica Extra Scientist. This really helps. So you can use an Extra Scientist instead of having to upgrade them. So I think I want to do that straight away. But at the same time, do I want this cheaper research, improved cost? Um, and then this one is the efficiency staff center task cost. That's a global reduction of cost. But I think I just want to do this. No, you know what? Let's go from beginning up. Let's do this first. Faster and cheaper research. Damn, I need him just to go up one more. Which means, let me upgrade rather. So... Cheaper research, we need logistics all the way up. Uh, genetic specialist, you guessed it, we're going to go genetics. Faster research, we're going to go logistics up, and then the next highest one is that. And altruistic salary, we're going to go welfare seems to be your highest one. <clears throat> now we can do this. Um, staff center improvement cost and staff center cost. I mean, mm, other than that, let's just do it. Now we can do faster and cheaper research for most research, and that's very useful. Uh, can I hire more guys? I can't hire more guys. I think the hiring of more guys is going to be the final. No, we've got one over here. Training to level four, increased staff, staff center capacity, yeah. And training up to level five, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so for now, we've upgraded our guys. We'll be able to do more of this. So we do want the ready to go to research. What research did I click on? I thought it was the... Oh, it was the larger or the power upgrades yeah so we want to do that next uh we just need to wait for some more people to free up <clears throat> what have we got going in here now release in progress for the chasmosaurus so guest protest is kind of the best one you can have if you do have a lot of money 
because there's, there's no physical detrimental effect to that. It's just the money will go down for a while. We're going to kind of start, I'm thinking maybe I should do, <clears throat> excuse me, this area first because there are a lot of people down here and there are places to see. So we do have a tour ride that starts all the way up there and connects to this. So what I want to do here is delete what we don't need, which means what we do need down here, we're going to do a hotel, a large hotel. And we're going to put him right by the dinos because that's what you do. Right smack against this fence. And then we're going to do the big pathway. Just like that. Then we're going to do the amenities. And we're going to dive in the deep end here and do large amenities. But uh, it might not be a good idea, but we will find out. So I can do one here and then potentially to that side, which is fine. We'll do food amenity first. Right there. And then the drink amenity, we're going to have to do a pathway through here, which is fine. They do allow us to do that now. So it's still in the, the view of the electricity as well, which is fantastic. And we'll see now how much the money jumps up. Uh, he's just out of range. I could, could I do it here? It is paused, so we'll just come down here and we'll do the demolish of that and that. And then go back to the fat path. And kind of go up here rather a little bit less just like that oh I can go straight there now it's gonna ask me to do a pathway but I want to get in line otherwise it might be a bit school and bang and that is like the best invention ever since inventions so we're gonna do one more amenity which is gonna be shopping and bang it's gonna fit perfectly here yes sir it is okay we're gonna see how much this helps everything <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna have the we do have a bunker but we are gonna need a relieving yourself area which is gonna be right there perfect and we can't forget to do the pathway here oh come on just attach good man there we go right so we have power uh, let's check how much power we've got and 240 227 so we are wanting to research that power upgrade as soon as possible uh we do or we can actually do it we're waiting for the people to arrive so i'm going to unpause right there and uh the money's not going to look as good because we just had that protest 352 but it is going to skyrocket with this so now what i need after that after the power is going to be the extra modules for the um, Pack modules better catalyze nature and luxury guests. No, it's not that one, is it? I think it's <clears throat> widest path. We want that as well, but we want the extra modules for the for the center. Uh, stop telling me I can't go there when it definitely can. For these guys, for the entertainment, we want different uh, modules for that, and that's the attraction modules. So let's see if I can do the research for the power yet, or am I still waiting? I'm still waiting. Just have to find out where those modules are. Um, is it going to be this infrastructure? It's not going to be that one. No, it's going to be under, not comfort, but I, th I thought it would be under amenities and attraction. That's just for the amenities, so it must be under here. Widest path? Nope, I guess it's not. Attractions, that's where it is, you idiot. There we go, more so guest attraction modules. Right, <clears throat> so we have that lined up next. What do we have in here? 50 seconds. Uh, do we have Styracosaurus in here now and Chasmosaurus? Nope. Just a whole bunch of Chasmosaurus. Which is still fine. Our park rating needs to go up now because uh, of that protest. There we go. Efficiency upgrades. That was that one right there. So next up, we don't need the extra scientists just yet. We want to go for the power because uh, that's going to stop us in our tracks. Faster research, cheaper research, done. See, now it's it's going a lot quicker because of that. We want to have a look and see if we can do more Mijunga. No, we need more scientists. We're going to fast forward here. Because we want our Chasmosaurus, our Styracosaurus to be out here, at least. Okay, protests have ended, which means our money is going to go... Yeah, it's kind of went right down. Right down. But um, we'll be okay. Now that has ended. There we go. It says again, Ranger team can't get to that. There's no LMV. 
can do any LMB unit. It doesn't really matter. They only kind of get sent out when uh, when they're needed. Okay, so we have the Styracosaurus. We're going to lift you out. You know what? I just want to double check this. Just, I have double checked this. I mean, they do like the Chasmosaurus. It doesn't even say a species. It actually says Chasmosaurus. So, I mean, that has to be... Right, so we're going to put you one there, one there, one there, one there. Oh, there's a lot. Good. Now, what I want to do is literally one more batch of Styracosaurus. And this time we're going to make it uh, random patterns. Oh, that's what I've got already. That's fine. We'll do that. Uh, do we want to? You know what? No, I'm not going to. Executive decision. I'm going to scrape my control clean over here. There we go. And we're going to have a look down the bottom because <clears throat> these guys are probably losing us money. Okay, so here we go. We can have a look at what we have here. Although, I do want to research the modules because we're going to need those guest attractions. So, there we go. Modules, we want faster research, cheaper research, done. And you guys will need a rest after that. <clears throat> which means I can build the attraction so long. Uh, where is he going to go? He's going to go somewhere here. I think that's a marvelous spot. Does he? He's not going to be able to get into the electricity. I've, I've never tried to avoid it, but... You know what? I think that's going to be fine right there. We cannot edit the attraction just yet. We are still under research. So, uh, no, that doesn't look too good, does it? Let's go from this way. There we go. Uh -oh. um, it doesn't like that at all, does it? So, we can just move the building when it comes to it. But right now, we want to see if we can get even a slight profit with this. 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 6, 1, 5. So 1.4 means it's less of a detrimental effect. So we keep going down. No, not yet. So the large amenities might have been a foregone conclusion here. But we're going to see 1.6, 1.4. is okay. It's going to bring the... It's, I mean, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, the second I get these things up and running, action figures. So again, 1.4 seems to be the, the effect. So we're going to keep doing that. And uh, we're going to start the start the motors. We'll just have to move this building back a bit. Okay. And how are you guys doing now? You're fine. Thirty-three twenty-seven because there aren't any dinosaur attraction attractions right there, but it should suffice with this over here. If we have a look over here, you're going to see the needs are all met. The appeal and the amenities are good as well. So. We'll just keep going. Why do these guys need status checks all the time when I've got someone assigned to them? Or do I? Let's see. Add task. Can you go there as well? Unassign. What about you? <laughs> I guess they are being checked as we go. A vehicle under threat is fine. Okay, so you're being airlifted out, which means we want... Uh, the extra modules, which is what we're doing now, but we also want the Majangosaurus. So, cheap expeditions, and we need six. We're not going to have enough. We are going to have enough. Just. In Let's do that. Right, E on. Uh, did we have the hotel? Yes, we did have the hotel here. Uh, we do want this to be moved back slightly. Move building. Um, I kind of want it to be more here. It's going to be closer to two of these attractions, or two of the amenities. We're just going to have to build another uh, area. Uh, let's hope this has enough. Oh, man, I'm really messing this up. But it's okay. We can do this. You know what I mean? There it is. And, of course, we're going to do that as well. A uh, fight is... Okay, we're going to pause that for a second because I want to know about fights. Because if it has something to do with uh, the area, we want to be on top of that. So it's only a thousand and just under a thousand and it's a thousand there. Uh, let's check what's happening with these guys. This could just be an ailment. Stop fighting. You too? Uh, again, I don't know why these stasis checks are not going quicker. They're all in there. Oh! You know, could it be because I, I haven't put any fences? I thought they could use those fences, but, you know, let's just do this anyway. Put fences all around. There's a, let's see if that helps. 
<coughs> most likely. Uh, Majungosaurus is out and about. Uh, do we have enough to merit this? Two, three, four. No, it's only halfway. Although if it does make it full, <laughs> 69, 7, 89, 0. We need one more Majunga output. Okay, so let's have a look down here now. I've done the amenities and stuff. Dropped by 1% this month. That's fine. So we have maybe right across there is one. This is a task I <clears throat> what do we have here? Increased number of dinosaurs in the park. That's well, all the time. We don't want fights, so we're just going to do that one. Um, I'm just thinking, do I want... I can do one over here. And I could do another one across all of that. But there's no point. I could just do... I could break it up at a later stage. I mean, how much does the... the I could just do a smaller one. Delivery. Kind of like this. And that's going to be plenty enough for a couple of Majungas in there. And then I, need, I kind of need this to be three. It'll easily be three. Easily, so that's going to be a nice open space for them. Uh, we're going to get the gates in here for starters, right in front of that, and right there, so you guys can go in between. Come on, one there, one there. And we're just going to put them everywhere. The easier they are able to move between paddocks, not just these paddocks, all paddocks, the better. Uh, we're going to take away some water here. Because we've got too much uh, around the edges is where I'm going to have my tour. Again, I'm going to have that extra fence inside just so there's no issues there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get start. Oh, pause. We have a, a disease. What's up with you, sir? Send MVU to medicate. You are being medicated. That's fine. Uh, do we have the extra one of these? Yes, we do. So this is difficult to, to do this because you have to do it visually on the left hand side. So it's kind of what I just do it where there's the most facing upwards. So we have two up, two down, two up, two down, two down, two up. So I mean, in VR, two up, two down. So we have normal guests. So if we have a look over here, ah, there we go. You see, now we're getting there just because of that uh, entertainment module. Okay, so we're going to let it go a little bit longer before we start popping on these guys. So we have one five is a winner there. But I don't want to do this yet because I want to sort this out. So, I, ugh, you know, I need to know which guests they are. Otherwise, there's no point. So if I just do one, the first one is there. So that's going to be green and orange guests. So if we kind of do that, the green and orange, that's the first one. But we've got cinema up top. Green and orange, fossil zone. So, yeah, let's just do that, you know. Let's just see what happens. And we'll come back down here. In a little while just to see how those guys are faring <clears throat> now as well we could potentially do the increased output on one and we'll just do two for now and if we have a look at our electricity 300 231 that's fine that is fine so we were down here we're going to do the thing is with this I'm going to need a lot of those platforms from a distance because I can't do a zigzag here through the tour because that is going to be attacked all the time. The dinosaurs are going to be tranked all the time. So, pausing, what that means is from this middle point here, we're going to do the park tour because this is something that can be done. I have to go as close as I can. I think I'm going to have to move this gate somewhere down here that's okay attractions we're going to put right here all the way around and we're going to have those guys are full so we're kind of going to have to have more amenities down here which is fine we're going to use the concrete track right there and we're going to start our tour all the way around and we've got the fences and everything there this is going to be Carnivore Alley, pretty much. Just around there. Uh, let me get a gate in there, thank goodness. <clears throat> Good man. All the way down. And we're going to encircle this whole area and then just do... And it's also the visibility, sure, it does count, but it's the, the attraction of having them there as well. So thinking about it, it's not a train smash that... Um, 
I'm not going to be able to put this through the middle because I am I am enjoying this whole we can't get to them so we're going to do the small fence in front this time just like last time <clears throat> straight to there um, it does need electricity but it's fine if we push if we stretch all the way out like I was saying before it uh, prevents it from trying to get the gate in there and we're going to do this all the way around too much there don't do it <clears throat> not going to be pretty but it's fine we'll do the straight ones along here and to there then a lovely little curvature there curvature there and no you want to go this way here we go yep lemon squeezy right here oh we're going to get you going there no x john x there we go so we're going to get you all the way out and covering this area just fantastically we want it curved so we're going to go back <clears throat> for the little fence oh there we go we had it there we go and straight along it again there 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 and one more we're going to come around to about there look at that so let's get an idea of the pathway i'm going to have here so I feel we're going to come straight out and we're going to have one amenity on the left, two on the right, that kind of thing. But we want it to be separate. So we want this path to connect up to this one. But that's it. This is the only path that we want here. Then we're going to get some electricity. And we're going to slap you down quite close to this. So you also get the little fence, but also able to get amenities in this area. So let's just put them over here somewhere. Doesn't look pretty, but uh, it does not matter either. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's build this. So, we're going to take away some trees here as well. And then we're going to start seeing what dinos we want in here. Now, we want to take away the trees because, like I was saying before, the, uh, the jeeps have a hard time. Okay, look at that. Bang. We got that set up. Now, just before I continue, I want to do platform so we're going to get some more guys set up just like this and this is just going to increase the popularity of this area there we go let's get you all the way around there as close as we can to that fence yeah that's good nice and snug and then we could probably do one more in the middle just coming off the side here and people are going to flock to this area to see these monstrous dinosaurs just like that come on go okay so once again we're going to use the fatty paths starting about there i'm well aware that the path is not connected sir it shall be momentarily there we go and there we go now we are laughing so once that's once that's uh, all built oh do you don't tell me it's got the cohabitation issue after all that no, Chasmosaurus is fine. It's just missing things, which is fine as well. We're going to pause straight away. Uh, ground fiber is what you need. That's like my bad. Ground fiber right there. We're going to put you right over there and over here. Not taking away too much forest. Let's shrink it down and go into these little areas here. There we go. You guys are fine. 77, Styracosaurus, and the Chasmosaurus, no issues whatsoever. So there we go. That was a good one in the end. Uh, I want to see the fossils now. Do we have enough? We definitely do. That's going to be Majangosaurus up and running. So genetic specialist, bang, go. Then someone needs a rest, go and rest. Do it. Okay, so Majangosaurus is going to go in the first one or somewhere. Um, there's lots of attractions there. That's fine. Uh, let's make this vehicle the most vehicles we can. Again, I'm not sure if that's detrimental or not. I am loving this whole fence. The dinosaurs are never going to be irritating my 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 uh, my show. Right. Let's have a look here. I want to have a look at advanced equipment, additional bays. That's fine. Next is Mojanga. Uh, we're just going to wait for him to be 100%, which means we can go for the next dinosaur. You, sir, are next. Uh, cheap expeditions and we need 
at least that so let's use that go and get them sir yeah well we will research the auto refill but for now that's all you have to do <laughs> and it cost you a million to make that automatic okay so here we go we're going to see if we can do anything to these shops at all so beads just beads for now we're going to need more attractions here yeah, we're definitely going to need something a bit more attractive here um, to fill up these shops. I mean, last time I only did medium shops, but uh, we just need something over here. Like if I could do this kind of thing, if these things could reach reach this, I mean, that, that would definitely help. I could do that. It is on the right. It is seeing all those dinosaurs over there. We could do a row of these like this. Let's keep them in view and see if this helps at all. I'm pretty sure it will, because uh, you can see more dinosaurs from this point. So let's hope we can go through there. Oh, you don't want me to touch that, do you? Fine. I will not. There we go. So we're just just making a loss on that and that, but this one is okay because he's closest to that. Let's just have a look, out of curiosity, doing these two. See, look at that. Bang. 164, 164. So, yes. That is correct, John. That will help. Jesus, what's happening here? So, there we go. See there. 12,000 straight away. Look at the difference that makes, guys. So, I want to pause. I want to have to pause and do this quickly because this is just money waiting. Uh, charity boxes. What else do we have here? So, 16 entertainer. 1617 is going to be karaoke. What's happening here? This is the coffee shop. Yeah, it is. I was getting confused. I thought it was the other one. So, 17 is going to take the cake here. 17, 3 play area. What else do we have? More than 17. I mean, I'm fine with 17 for now. It'll only get bigger or it'll only get increased. Uh, beads. Do you want beads? No. Uh, sorry, let's have a look here. So, 7 is books. Uh, 7 is going to be the winner. Yes, it is. What else do we have? 14 for the aquarium. And we have 18. And then we're going to keep going down. 18, 4. And that's going to be it for you. That's fine. And one more. And that's just going to increase our monies big time. So we have 8,000 on the wraps. That's probably going to be the highest it is. Aquarium, 15. Let's go. Claw machine, 21 on fossil display. Keep going down, keep going down. Okay, good. Check out that. So, we have a look at our money now. 410. So, when these guys take off, which they're about to, that is going to increase so much. That's enough fast forwarding. 281 guests just because of those two platforms. 414,000. So, what we can do, because that was so effective, is turn it around. We're going to do exactly the same thing this way. Just like that. <clears throat> Thank you. And yes, we most definitely are going to do another one right over here. Sabotage power loss. We're going to pause the game right there. And we're going to put this guy as close as we can right there. And that is going to increase our output for those shops a lot. And we need a pathway here. Right now, we don't need that. Okay, so which power stations have been out? Let's... Uh, can you guys... Oh, you can do it. Go and sort that out, please. And up here, we just got two of them. So, who's closer? Doesn't matter. We're going to need more anyway. You and you. Let's fast forward. See so who gets there first. Take your time. It's fine. Uh, can we do Mujunga so far? I think we can. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> Let's get these carnies, <laughs> carnies, carnivals up and running. Oh, I do like the green. I want to go with the green first. <clears throat> and that one and we're going to go again straight across to long lived because that's what we want oh wait he's got a an ailment there i can't see because of the stupid hotel rating that's the next thing i want to build please move out of the way i want to see what his ailment is okay so we need to search this and that's group adaption so that's fine uh, sociability character okay so we need uh 11 of 12 we do need to research the extra science uh scientist because that'll allow me to 
to four scientists to research something instead of just having three. So there it is there. <clears throat> That's what we want. And we'll do cheaper research. And what else do we need? We need four more. Two, four, go. Okay, so once that's done, we will do the Majungasaurus. And so far, we have these guys. He's going to win. Let's go. Move, please. That's very kind. <clears throat> reboot and reboot. Fossils, done. So this is the next fella. Let's sell this stuff first. And we're going to do all of the orange amber. So this is three. The rest are two. Go. Uh, genetic specialist, go. Fantastic. <clears throat> Can we send someone else out again? Potentially. Uh, we definitely can. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to need some people resting after this. But the Mijangosaurus is going to need... Uh-oh. Storm warning. Let's save there. Pre-storm save game. Uh, what I didn't do, before I forget, is... A fence on the inside of these idiot so one over there those are all fine we're gonna do another fence over here another gate uh where was it there go and there go no fantastic let's see what the storm does okay let's open the shelters look at them run So once again, I think I'm going to go to my Ranger Team 1 and I'm going to remove all of these assignments because I know where they are. It's easy to do it again. Oh my lord. It's easy to replace them. And we're going to do it to the second one as well. We might as well. Okay, Storm, let's go. We're going to select the first ranger team and add task, and we can see straight away what needs repairing. Expedition center, you, and you. Yeah, definitely the way to go forward is to unassign before this happens, no doubt. And we have some over here. These guys over here can do this. Oh, he's just lost power right there. Oh, I don't like this jumping here. It's terrible. This is a PS5 game. Stop it. It's lagging a lot. I think I'm going to reset... The console, yeah, it looks like it's going to crash, for Christ's sakes. So, uh, the storm's gone. Wow, okay, so let's uh, make you repair that. <clears throat> Everything's fine down here. Up here, we're going to need other repairs. Add task. Uh, no, you're fine. You guys can repair over here before I assign you to your various things. And then <clears throat> Ranger Team 1. Is going to be assigned to there, 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 and there. Although there's no dinosaurs in there. I don't know why I've been assigning them to there just yet. <laughs> so add task again. You are still assigned to all of those. That is fine. Go. See, that was a, a pretty mellow storm, if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm going to make a cut here and reset the console and stuff. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, I am now fed and watered and ready to go. We have a structure damage straight away. And of course, my shelters need to be closed. What's happening here? You going to repair? Thank you. So 320, 24,000, 24,000. That's good. We've got uh, 282. That will increase as we go now. Just recovering from the storm. And then we're going to have a look at the... Oh, let's get these people resting since they're troubled. Got a few troubled. And we do have some fossils ready to go here. Okay, Conoptosaurus is next. And we might as well do that since we're here. Uh, we need genetics. Good. <laughs> go. And can we actually do one? I think we... No, we're staff busy. Okay. Let's fast forward. We've got everything kind of under control here. We've got these, these tours going. These guys are going to have even more um customers once we top up this area as well and if need be we could throw down a medium amenity there or something this one i want to put in my chasmosaurus and Crichtonosaurus, the smaller guys um i just want to yeah i want to get these uh, these guys out 
And then we're going to have a closer look at, uh, oh, it's complete genome. We'll do that. Come to me. <laughs> Let's get him uh, ready to go. Does he have any ailments? He doesn't. So, we want long live. And one on resilience. That seems to be the, the, way, of the, the way of the warrior now. So, eight of eight. Bang. Let's do that. And we're going to do one more batch. No, we can't. <clears throat> we have to wait. Uh, we can do... The next one, he's going to be completed. He's completed. So, let's see. This is the Troodon as well up here. Let's see what we have here. The Pachycephi we can do with the other ones. That's actually true. The Pachyrhinosaurus can go with these ones. That's why I did this in the beginning. So, the Pachyrhinosaurus on the Chasmosaurus is fine. And the... Yep, we can do that one. I think we're going to do that one before we do the next carnival. So... This guy up here, I mean, we might as well. We might as well top up what we have. Although we could top up afterwards. I think I want to go for the for the carnivore alley down there first. <clears throat> Let's do that. I mean, these Eucephalus and stuff like that, we do have a paddock for them already. Patosaurus, I mean, we should get those long necks out as soon as possible. I just want two more. <clears throat> Procerat, I don't really like those tiny little guys. Compsignathus as well. We can do Velociraptors. I mean, they don't like storms. I think I'm just going to give myself more trouble. So if I do go for the Paki or just go for the Proceratosaurus, I mean, we could do tons of these guys in. And the Compsognathus, they can go with any. They can even go with the T-Rex, but they just cause so much trouble. <clears throat> Velociraptor, Parasaurolophus, and Velociraptor, I think. I think we should do Velociraptor, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's just do it. We've got double fences around there. Cheap expeditions, and we need... Uh, five should cut it. Go. Yeah, we'll start doing that. And we'll get the Majungasaurus in there. Or Conatosaurus at least. There we go. It's going to be 3.2 million. So here we have Intelligent, Intelligent, Intelligent. So they're all intelligent except for him. He's long lived, which is fine. 3.2 million. Now we're going to do the fast forward thing. So if we have a look at the money after setting up all those things. 400,000. I was hoping it would be more than that. I mean, that is loads. But uh, after doing all this setup down here, I'm getting 25, 50, you know, it's going to be, there should be more. I'm getting almost 100k, which is 100k. Uh, incubate four to two minus at once. <laughs> Didn't even see that. But let's have a look at another contract, just for the hell of it. Uh, yeah, that's already done. <laughs> we will cancel. Uh, sell dinosaurs? No. Modified dinosaurs genome? New research to be done? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Is it going to give me something specific? Research Gallimimus. Okay. Let's have a look at the Gallimimus. We're going to come up here, go to the these little guys. And there you are. <laughs> uh, genetics. Now we need two of that and nine of that. So we need eight of nine. We'll do that. <clears throat> and generalist. Let's do that. Sabotage threat rising. I know this. I'm aware. I do enjoy these gates. They are pretty cool. And uh, we're going to get our Conatosaurus in there because I thought we had a Majunga going already. <clears throat> These guys over here. <clears throat> Let's get a batch of them going anyway. Oh, no, I can't. Can I? Nope. We have to wait. Someone's got rabies. But he's fine. Mobile unit can medicate him. No problem at all. 3.3 stars. Let's have a quick look at the guests again. Shelter coverage is 94. I'm assuming it's going to be because of this area here. <clears throat> but we have to do this anyway. Uh, oh, no, it's not here, although <laughs> there are no guests. So we're going to have amenities this side, two amenities this side, one amenity there, and we're going to have this guy somewhere down here. Let's go there. Uh, guest protest, we don't have to pause for that one. Uh, can I put the toilet in there? Let me put the toilet in there, come on. Ow, oh, yeah, let me do that. It was so snug. We'll have to put it uh, over here as well. Nope. We'll put it there. We can do one, two guess. I don't want this to be out of the way. Let's just put it over here somewhere for the hell of it. <coughs> Someone's disgruntled? I do not care. Okay. So our aim now, what is wrong with you? Our aim now is to get those carnivores out into this alley here. <coughs> and what we can do as well is get this thing sorted. So we're going to have one there. 
Uh, do we need two? Nah, we just do one in the middle. And one there. Contract done. So we will assign those. We don't need to assign them now because uh, we ain't got the petrol. There's no need to waste the petrol. Here we go. 3.2. So I would love to have a cheaper synthesis option here. Um, because that is very expensive. The cheaper synthesis was always going to work afterwards. Let's have a look here quickly. Is it better to spend this 3.2 million on getting extra scientists? So here, park rating 3.5 stars, have six scientists employed. So the training can go up. And this over here, star center cost and cheap expeditions, faster transit. I mean, this is kind of what we would want to go for. But 3.5 stars is far away. So for the time being, luxury wide path, don't even need that. And more guest attraction modules, 2 million. <clears throat> no, sir. Uh, what we're going to do is this. Let's just get these guys out. So we can do that. Bang. Three minutes. It's fine. There's no rush. And Mojanga, we're going to wait. Uh, fast forward. So park rating dropped 4%. That's probably because of the protest. Because... Let's see if we can get some more guys out here. So we wanted to go for the Velociraptor. Increase number of fights, construct something new, keep dinosaurs disease-free is always going to be the easiest one. Now, Velociraptor is done. So let's see if we can get some of these going. Is it worth it? Not yet. Only halfway. Otherwise, everything's okay. Resting is done. Uh, let's... Go get some more of these if we can. So, Gallimimus, Parasolophus, Velociraptor. Cheap expeditions, and you. <coughs> Go. Okay. So, we're ready. So, this might be okay for four of them. I could put them in here. I think this is a bit of a wider area. Maybe. <coughs> let's have a look. Uh, let's just put out the stuff when we need to. So I think we're going to be able to put some more dinos. See, this is still only half full. Uh, we can do guest attraction. There's no guest attraction here, so we're going to do that straight away. Because we do have the ability to add different modules. Disease-free for five minutes. Okay, that's going to happen. El Naturel. <clears throat> and we have maturity. Wow, look at that. So let's get our Conatosaurus out here. We might as well do the first one. One, two, three... Four. Then, add task. Wait a minute, why are you guys... Oh, you are assigned to that one over there. So we'll do that there. And then, of course, the other LMV. Right there, the LVU, not LMV. Okay, so he's definitely going to re require prey, I'm assuming. <clears throat> Let's fast forward. There he comes. How amazing are you? Oh, you're lonely. That's fine. So, prey and sand. Let's get some prey out for you here. Right there. And we'll get some sand around the water because it looks cool. Well, you just want sand everywhere, don't you? I could have put it in the last pad. I could have been fine. There we go. Sand is fine. Uh, we're going to need another prey because we've got more guys coming in. Just fine. Put you there. And uh, you're comfortable. Why aren't you going up more? You Population really one. Okay, there we go. Fantastic work. I love how they sit there. More like cats, aren't they? <laughs> okay. That's going to pick things up a bit. What have we got now? Scientists badly hurt on task. You're the crapper scientists I have, although you are the fast expedition, I think. Lose to 50k. Uh, lose Yuri to Rumor, public rating minus. No, I think we'll just pay to keep you because you do have the fast expeditions. <clears throat> How are you guys doing here? Let's fast forward. Although, while I'm watching you, I could just go do the next one. The Mojanga antisocial. We're going to try and fix that up over here. And we can do it. So we want faster research and cheaper research. And now we need genetics galore. 11. I oh, don't have enough. So we're going to have to take away faster research. And oh, we can't. Why is that? Oh, damn it. We have to take away cheaper research, unfortunately. 
and then we can do it you know what let's just go then we wait for the four of them to be in here and then we can probably see if they're comfortable I do like I do miss doing uh, all of the terrains and stuff making them look super lacquer like doing this kind of thing you know making it a bit bumpy that's gonna be a bumpy ride for that see these lovely tour guides are gonna be checking out these guys as you can see they're completely in view that's fine okay so they're all in here let's have a look they're all 100% and population is four water is fine we could do a tiny more water uh, because we can do sand as well there we go that's what they want a bit of water over there and there awesome paddock oh what was that research done take a skins uh we don't really want that if anything we want uh hatchery accelerate growth cheaper genetics that could work as well but for now we're just gonna throw out the mojanga if we can and we need the antisocial trait for that so what was happening with that we needed scientists hey Oh no, he's done. So let's do that. Modifications, uh, reset modifications. Yes. We'll take away your antisocial trait. We will put on long lived and resilience. Go. So genetics eight start. So that's going to be about three and a half million. Uh, so the next stage we want, I think we're going to put Majanga in there. He should be fine. I mean, four of these guys are going to be fine in here they're absolutely awesome we've got 3.5 star rating so we'll have Majanga in there and potentially Velociraptor and I don't know if these guys that are intelligent are going to be wanting to eat other carnivores that are next to them if that's if that's the case and that's the first I've experienced it because I only had herbivores there so potentially if I put a Velociraptor in here this might be prey to him <clears throat> now that I think about it it could be a good chance so I think I'll put another carnivore in here in the further one which is fine we do have this uh, area covered do we not almost almost covered so it'll fluctuate pretty much we can't really get another one in there unless we come all the way here can we do that there's a mountain right there but that probably would be a good idea if I can get right in there yeah I'm gonna do it because it doesn't cost a lot and it could be a very good idea Uh, let's go more this way right like that and let's see what's up next okay so we have a, a, a semi plan ahead and 3.5 stars let's have a look at this we're probably going to need some more stuff here shelter coverage is fine the appeal is 5.3 now the biggest thing about this that you might have noticed is we cannot do lagoons I mean Avery's I'm just never going to do anyway <laughs> unfortunately but lagoons you cannot do which means you're kind of limited and uh, you, I'm going to need to increase the space of this T-Rex. I mean, if I have a look at the the needs for this, the population is one. The area is just over half. So I might need to increase the area a bit. And I could do it, definitely do it all the way out here, leaving a bit of a gap with this pathway here. So I could come to about there. Uh, let's just do it as a, as a tester. Actually, before I even do that, I want to... <laughs> get these uh, Majanga out so let's have a look we have 3.4 million so we're gonna wait because we're gonna need that appeal and uh, what I'm gonna do here is keep it on fast forward and just keeping track of what's happening so we're gonna do the large fence and we're gonna start somewhere here making sure there's more than enough gap between him and that pathway right there we don't want any incidents so we can come closer this way the same angle as the path and we can come all the way down here which is a good thing yeah then we're gonna pump out some saber uh guest protest that's fine don't care about that i want this to face this way and then curl because it's a waste of space no you're not gonna do it for me like there you know what fine we're going to go this way then. And we're going to go straight down to there. Right. So what we're going to have to do here, storm warning. God damn it. We just had one. Like literally 
That's fine. We're going to wait for 3.4 million. Oh, uh, shit, I cancelled. Uh, we do want interest. contracts if they come up because it's easy money. So raise the appeal is 840. <clears throat> Excuse me. Raise the size of the largest territory population. So that's going to ask me to do the Paris Royal Office again. But this time I'm able to do it. So it's 1.2 million. So we're going to do that the park is doing straight away. So well. And we're going to pause straight away. So increase the size of large territory, 17. So again, we're going to go to our, our hatchery. We're going to see which has 17. 13. Oh, the largest. The size of the largest territory population. So that's going to be this one. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I'm just going to throw out some more. Uh, well, how much does it need? It needs. Uh, it just needs to increase three. So I'm just going to do Paris Rolifus and. He's not even full, this poor dude. Paris Rolifus and potentially, let's see, we have Chasmosaurus and Styracosaurus. I think the Chasma. You guys are fine with some more? I don't know which one has more. They both got 16, but it says 14 in the bottom right. I'm just going to do both anyway, because why the hell not? Why are you not 100% comfortable? That's a little weird. Um, that's fine. What about the Styracosaurus? You're 80, and the Chasmosaurus is also 80. So, we just got to put something in somewhere and see what happens. Uh, there's 1.2 million, so it's definitely worth it. So Styracosaurus is 5, and that's 11. So let's do Styracosaurus. And we need 3, 4, 5. Oh my god, I can't even do it with what I've got here. The genetics. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I'd researched that scientist thing, we would be able to. So I'm just going to continue there. And I'm going to save under... Not pre-storm. Under... So I know. More dinosaurs should do the trick. 30 seconds. Uh, of course, we have a storm warning here. I don't want to unassign them all. Now oh, they're assigned to less outposts. It's fine. The outpost is still not being used. It's uh, no hurricanes yet. Uh, touch wood. Let's get you guys repairing that and that. And anything over there you could repair. And over here, let's get Ranger Team 2 repairing that. Put that first. And oh, now he's going there. So he's fine. And down here, we're going to have some repairs as well. Uh, let's start with you. And then go there. And you're fine. And then maybe you can refill that if that needs to be refilled, which is a bit weird. Uh, maybe because it's not in range of the uh, of this thing. Of the actual outpost, that is. It, it keeps needing to be manually reloaded. Oh well, that sucks. Hey guys. Okay, we're back and we're going to send off an expedition for the Sukumimus. Although I kind of want to do the tall necks rather. I'll be completely honest. I think I've just changed my mind right now. I want to do the tall necks rather because I could do a lot more of them in a paddock. So right here, we do have a Patrosaurus. But we have them already. So we're going to do the Sauropod. The Camarasaurus is going to be the next one. So we need uh, faster... Oh, he's disgruntled. Damn it. Cheaper research, uh, which is better than faster. So we need a lot of genetics. So uh, 11, good. <laughs> that works out fantastically. And we're just going to do that because we haven't got anything to do. Good. Research that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put the Apatosaurus, or sorry, the Camarasaurus, in this monstrous area right here. Uh, no, not here. <laughs> right here. And uh, with them, let's see what we can put with them. The Camarasaurus. <laughs> Who knows? Let's see. Uh, Patosaurus and Camarasaurus. So, they like... Oh, wow. I don't know you could put long necks with long necks. In the other game, you definitely couldn't. So, we don't have any Pachycephalosaurids. So, that could be one to reduce the um, uh, Scorpio's Rex. Is that... It says like or dislike? Oh, dislikes. Right. So, yeah, I, don't, I haven't got any Pachys. So, definitely a long... Or the long neck, the Brachy, which we do already have, though. We're going to put the, the Pachycephalosaurus and the Camarasaurus in here. That's going to be two more species. Fine. Let's have a look at where the Pachy is. Because he's going to be a cheaper research. Troodon, Triceratops, Struthio. We could do Struthio as well because it, he's a different species. Celiophysis. Where is the... Oh, great. Pachycephalosaurid. Oh, that's Pachycephalosaurid. Uh, it's potentially not researched. So... 
Uh, where are you? Not there. Small herbivores. There you are. Let's research him. Uh, what are we on here? He's disloyal. Oh, come it. So, logistics specialist. And we need a whole lot of these. Ten. No, we're going to have to wait. Get these guys sleeping or resting. So, at this point, again, guys, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be jumping until I have money and just showing you the clips of what I'm doing from here. But uh, as we get to the end of this research, <laughs> there we go. Sauropods unlocked. So we're going to head straight to the sauropod area, which is going to be down here. Celiophysis, Komaro sauce, Pato sauce, Dry sauce, Komaro sauce. So we want the Komaro sauce. We're going to start off with him on his own. So cheaper expeditions and faster expeditions. No faster. He's being used. Fast extraction, logistics specialist, bang. And we're going to use you as well to make it super quick. Uh, do we have any fossils to get rid of? We do not. That's weird. Oh, it's because I thought it had a fossil sign on there. Mm, excuse me, it didn't. So, that's what we're going to do next, guys. The Dilophosaurus are fighting. That just means there's going to be an ailment. That's fine. All right, I'll catch you in a second. From this point onwards, we're just going to be doing... <coughs> The clips of what we need okay expedition is complete we're going to come back we're going to sell what we can that's 640k hell yeah and we're going to get our Komarosaurus up and running uh we could wait for one more so we're going to head out again for Komarosaurus. might not get it but uh, let's have a look here logistics specialist cheap expeditions go so much red on the screen now so you need to go rest. Uh, he's oh he might f he might quit, but uh, I'm not too worried. Uh, disgruntled, disgruntled. You can be upgraded still. So let's get you maxed on there, and then your next high one's going to be there. And you're resting. Go fast forward. <clears throat> um, okay, so we wait for them. <clears throat> Absolutely no sound, isn't there? Okay, so we've had a uh, a power loss, which is fine. We have our guy right here using all my scientists big time there uh oh I shouldn't have gone through here stick to the roads maybe I can't use the square button power stations have shut down I am acutely aware of this oh come on all the buttons change like I've said before reboot in progress reboot in progress and one more we're gonna go straight down here and reboot the sucker Let's go. Yeah, you can sort that out. <laughs> uh, over here, what is going on here? Are you okay? Go to research. There it is. Uh, faster extraction, faster research. We can do that. And you, go. Let's get that guy right as rain as soon as possible. Uh, hookworm, yeah, we've done that already. So, we have some fossils to extract here oh, we were waiting for the next ones which is pause he's on his way back let's do this the lack of facilities that's because the power went out you muppet so it was three point it was 4.4 .4 i had and it went down to 3.2 as you can see it's moving up quite rapidly and we're going to get the next batch over here uh patosaurus no we don't want the patosaurus we want Komarosaurus, and over here Marosaurus, perfect. Uh, faster extraction, love it. Go. And then while I'm here, uh, let's see. Faster research. We're going to do that one there because that's your highest one. And there we go. That's all the scientists maxed out. Are we going to fast forward? And wait for the next thing to happen. So it's 4.3 stars. Uh, Bossels are back. I just did that. 
And we're going to get our guy resting as well here. So you and you. At least he didn't uh, quit, which is pretty good. Just want to make sure no one else can be trained. Okay, we're trained to the max. So now we're going to get our Patosaurus in there. Uh, the Komarosaurus in there, sorry. Along with uh, what was going to go with him? The Pachycephalosaurus. So let's see if we can excavate for... We're going to need the Komarosaurus again. The Pachycephi was up here. That's the Pachyrhino. Uh, it was one I hadn't had yet, but we have to finish the Komodo source, although he might be finished. I have to just check his stats, but where is the Paki? Um, Compensignate this, Compensignate this, and that's going to be Sukumimus. Did I end up researching it? I didn't. Let's get him. Uh, fast research, cheaper research, and then genetics, bang. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so Komarosaurus and... The Pachycephalosaurus is going to go into the next one. Let's have a quick look at these guys. Require stasis check. <clears throat> They're going to be 98%. That's fine. New viable genome. Uh, these guys are fine as well. The Eusephalus and the Meosura is fine. So those are the three in this massive area. There's a lot of stasis checking to be done there. Holy cow. <clears throat> uh, let's see about the fossils. We want Camarasaurus only. Although at this point, we're just going to do them all. Uh, so we have two. We'll do four instead. Faster extraction, go. And then uh, we do have, uh, we have that researching. So we might as well have one more going at the Komarosaurus here. Uh, generalist, we need eight. Cheaper research, and we want this to go quicker now. So there we go. We'll do that. And fast forward. We've got two guys resting, and uh, we're going to see how much the Kamarasaurus is going to cost us. These guys are back in business. Uh, let me just check. I didn't put anything on this guy here. So speed, improved cost, speciality. I think I just want to go speed for now. 4.2 stars, new viable genome of Patosaurus. Uh, do we have more fossils in here? We don't need a Patosaurus. Let's have a look at what, we got, what we're working with. So the Camarasaurus here is going to be up here somewhere. He's on 85%. So we're going to need more of him. Let's do that. Ah, he's on the way back. Let's give that a bit of a wait. And then we can do the fossils and send off another expedition. Vehicle under threat. I'm not too phased about that. So Camarasaurus is going to be 85 and 8%. That's 93 and uh, these two are sold. So we're going to have to wait for one more Komarosaurus anyway. That's going to be finished. And let's hope I have him there. And we can get him done and dusted. So cheap expeditions. Uh, there was cheap expeditions. And faster extraction, faster research. I don't know. So we need three of three. And that's four minutes. But we want this to go quicker. So we're going to do it down to that. And even that. Go. Because <laughs> uh, I don't mind sending them off to sleep. The money's going to be fine. Money's sitting at 295. It's gone down a lot. But uh, we'll see what's happening here. We have to upgrade these. And this. Mm, I'm going to pause that for a second. I should have done this ages ago. I'm not sure why I didn't. But this. Needs to be smack bang right here. I have no idea why this wasn't done before. But to increase the publicity of this. We have to let these guys in here. Uh, sorry, someone's at the front door. I just got distracted there. Let's have a look. See at what we're doing here. So attractions, park tour. We're going to go for the concrete track. Don't know why we didn't do this last time. It's really going to help. It's going to help with this, definitely. Uh, let's see. We want you to go there. And then we're going to have to replace and make this a little bit wider. Oh, great. And then replace off. And we want you to come down here. And be there. That's definitely going to make... These more popular. 
Don't know why I didn't do that, but uh, at the same time, we're going to have to make this a lot bigger. <clears throat> Waiting for these Kamara Saws to come back. Let's see what we got now. Yes, please. So we have a Patosaurus, a Kamara Saws there, and come on, give me another one. Kamara Saws right there. That's going to be sufficient. Don't dry Saws. We just want to stick with the tall necks for now. Although that's going to be all of them. Let's just do it. <clears throat> Faster extraction. Go. Okay, no one's disloyal yet. Well, they're all disloyal, but no one's disgruntled. Okay, that is going to be the final of that. And whilst I'm waiting for that to happen, once again, I can go onto the pathways. And uh, we're going to make it a bit more, a bit more better. <laughs> So, so my wife made me laugh. She came and showed me the costume she's wearing for her <clears throat> work function tonight. It's at the London Zoo. And she loves the animals. Okay, so here we go. I thought there was going to be carnivores in here. But we went against. And we decided to go for the tall necks. And we're going to put some cameras there. Some cameras there. Shut up, you damn sirens. Well, it is 30 degrees out there. It says it's 29 degrees inside my room right here. I'm roasting balls here. But it's all right. We're going to get some Kamara sauce in here. And I will be able to finish this campaign with enough time for a couple of hours in the sun. Because uh, we need the sun. <laughs> Profits have not changed. What are the chances of that? Like, really? Okay, so after that is going to be the Pachycephalosaurid, which we did research. So he should be here somewhere. There we are. You are going into the same one. So cheap expeditions and logistics specialist go. <clears throat> 148. Which means, oh, he's almost done. There he goes. It should say Kamarasaurus complete though. Oh, he's 98%. You've got to be shitting me. You're telling me I have to do another one over here. This one. Damn it. I mean, is it going to make a difference? To his genomes we're gonna take that away and they're so long lived anyway i would rather go for social uh there and resilient nah let's just do that you know what <laughs> i'm not waiting anymore let's just go so that's gonna take 50 seconds that's the kamara source and i think we're gonna do another one straight away just for the hell of it Let's drive to the end of this fast. 4.2 stars. So if we have a look at our appeal quick sticks here, we're on 7.2. So we need 1,800 to do that. And then maybe even get another Tyrannosaur. As you can see here, the T-Rex appeal is 1,500. That's massive. And uh, so after this Kamara sauce and Paki sword, I'm going to head straight for that. And that's going to be done and dusted. Okay, we need you to sort that gate out, please. And you might as well carry on through to that gate. Because uh, no one's going to be escaping. Well, they don't want to escape. Over here, we need you, who's at the base, to do that. And then, maybe that. And then down the bottom here, we have the final one. You're at the base, so you're closer. Go sort that gate out, please, sir. And then that gate out. And then the other guy who's going to be somewhere over here. Oh, I hate that how it takes me to the base if I cancel it. You're visiting Outpost 4. So stop what you're doing and go there. And go there. Good. Fast forward. <clears throat> Kamarasaurus batch completed. Let's see how much it's going to cost us. 930,000. That's fine. We're just going to keep going. Now, once again, guys, I might be jumping and skipping around now, just showing you the things that need to be shown, but you won't miss out on any information. So let's have a look at fossils held up in custom. Uh, pay, lose 100,000, gain a million. Uh, I think we're going to sell the fossils for now. So we can actually do our batch straight away. That's sneaky. <laughs> 930,000. So we need 7 to 7, 3 minutes 30. So we want this to go quicker. Let's go down to 1 minute 40. Seems like a plan. We could even do it quicker. 105. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do that. These guys as well, 930. The public rating went down a bit, so we're going to lose a bit of cash on that, but I'm not too faced. 
I just want to make sure there's someone at each of these gates. Let's get rid of these guys. Uh, just for the hell of it. Uh, let's just do you right there. And then see if we can do some more. The last Kamarasaurus. Although we've already bought them. It doesn't matter. We'll stick with the Paki. Paki, not Paki, Rhinosaurus. I think I might have done the wrong one last time. Uh, we need two minutes there. We're going to keep making them faster and faster. One minute. How long has my game been on for? Three hours, 42 minutes. And in real time, seven hours. That's fine. Oh, don't start with your lagging now, man. It's the worst thing. Uh, you're having trouble getting in there. You'll be fine. I expanded that paddock like hours ago. Yeah, so it's definitely started to lag again. But uh, we're going to get our Komarosaurus out here anyway. Into this area here. We're going to leave the forest. And we'll get them some, some tall leaves and stuff there as well. Just make sure everything's fixed. <clears throat> yep, everything's fixed. And we're going to do our next Komarosaurus batch. Four of them. And that's going to be quite a lot, actually. So, 7 to 7. We're going to use you as well. 1 minute 40. And I want it to go even faster. Let's go. <clears throat> and we have fossils. Here we go. Yeah, that's what we want. We want the Paki. Oh, there's somebody already in there. <clears throat> so, if we have a look at a Kamarasaurus, I don't think it's going to tell me it's uh, appeal. Appeal 222. So, I've got, what, 246800... Uh, 888, I think. Appeal coming with these four Komarosaurus. And that's going to take a massive chunk out. I probably won't need to do the T-Rex. I won't be surprised if this is an under four hour run. Alright, you beautiful beast. Tall leaf is what you want. Tall leaf is what you're going to get. In the big gap. Not removing any of the forest that's already there. I think I do a little bit of a forest removal there. Just so you're sorted with that. That's going to be a lovely pin to go around in here. Uh, so we want tall nut. Tall nut, there we go. And we'll put you down here somewhere. And the second you expand your territory, that tall nut's going to be absolutely fine. Insufficient funds. <laughs> and then water. Water, water, which can go over everything. Oh, come on. There we go. And you will expand, and your forest will expand. And you will be fine. 4.2 stars is going to go up more. Release fire airlift. I thought they were released. Where's my other guy? Heading to collect the asset. Oh, there are two there. That's my bad. <clears throat> so, forest is going to be a little bit more. Which is fine. You still have a bit more forest to go. We're going to put some forest right over there. So the second you expand, you're going to be absolutely beautiful. There we go. 4.2 stars. I'm a little surprised it hasn't gone up. They're definitely in view. Oh, so this one over here, I need to make more cars. There we go, per 50 meters. <laughs> and that takes us to 4.3 stars. And uh, what we need next is more Paki. Unless he's done. He's done. Let's see, we'll sell that. And you too. So Paki, Paki, 53%. Here we go. Paki is next. Uh, faster extraction, but you are disgruntled. So we're going to put you, bang, right there. Very useful to have that extra point. There we go. So what was I saying with the Kamarasaurus and the Paki? It was just those two, wasn't it? Um, <clears throat> so these guys are... I can do a Hadrosaur. I don't think there's another one there, though. The Ornithio. I can do the Streetio Mimus because I haven't got Streetios. Oh, wait, I do have Streetios. <clears throat> All these are Struthios. No, that was my previous playthrough. I can't put Struthios in there as long as the Packies don't mind Struthios. Uh, where are you? You're not going to be finished, so you're going to be down here. I know you don't. So Sauropods, fine. Stegosaurid, Ankylosaurid. So you like the Ankylosaurid. And I know there's other species of that. Do you guys like Ankylosaurids? Yes, you do. So I want to pause that quickly just to see what's happening here. Uh, okay, so we're just going to clean that. <clears throat> so we're going to need another Ankylosaurid. Along with the Paki, which is fine. And that's going to take us up over, most likely. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, let's have a look 
at the research if we need one more ankylosaurid we're gonna have so we've got cephalus and chitinosaurus so the chitinosaurus is what we need in the last one but we could also do this he's a ceratopsid but we'll stick with it chitinosaurus pachycephalosaurid and the camarasaurus right here oh damn your storms man damage shelters lose 1000 all scientists will be exhausted lose 100,000 shelters disabled <laughs> Disabled for fire. You know what? I didn't even use the shelters any of these times, so I'm just going to go that. I can't even uh, fix them, can I? Oh, I can. Although the guys are going to be busy doing other things. Well, if somebody escapes, then uh, <laughs> then they can sort something out. Now, that's just going to be a five minutes looking at Paraswala first, then you're going to go for a long drive over there. <laughs> the guests are concerned about shelters. They damn well should be concerned about the shelters. Let's get you fixing this stuff. Yeah, you can repair that. And that. Yeah, as long as there's no hurricanes, I'm not too worried about storms anymore. Let's fast forward this. Before you know it, storm's gone. Pause. I need you to fix that. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, these guys are going to be fixed on their own. And they're going to be fixed on their own. So let's just get someone selected to see if there's any... Oh, come on. It's not what I did. Uh, select any ranger team to see if there's any other repairs. Yep, go repair that. And then that repair over there. And everything else is fine except for that. And this. Go there. What? It's not... Huh. Weird. Doesn't let me repair it. That's so weird. What's going on here? Oh, because <laughs> I'm selecting the damn medic. Okay, 3.9 stars. That's going to shoot up again in a second. Uh, let's see what we've got going here. Do we have more packies? No. The uh, expedition center is under repair. Come on. These guys are still okay. <clears throat> Earning lots of cash. No power. Power's fine. <clears throat> so the packy is done. Uh, we do need we don't need the Kamara because those guys are out. We want the Crichtonosaurus, which costs millions to do. 1.4 million, and he's the only area you can get the Crichtonosaurus. So it's expensive, but his uh, appeal is massive. Okay, so let's not mess around. We're going to wait till we got uh, the Packy we can do now. He's 63%, which means I could just put out the Packy now. I kind of want to. Um, maybe just one more. There we go. Let's do one more. Logistics specialist and cheap expeditions. Make sure no one else is disgruntled. No one's disgruntled. So we're going to get the Packy and the Crichtonsaurus into the final area here with these guys. Now, as you can see, we're on 4.4 stars. Our, our peel is 8.1. So I only need about 900, just under 900. And that's definitely going to happen with these Packies and the Crichtonosaurus. The Crichtonosaurus has a monstrous appeal. Um, let's see if I can see what it does have. Uh, where are you? Hyangosaurus. Oh, I do have some already. So there. Uh, it's 119. I, want, I thought it had more than that. But uh, the Packy is going to have 47. So potentially not. But uh, it's okay. I'm still only... Three hours fifty-five technically into this play, which is way below par of I think it was eight hours or something. <clears throat> Always managed to do it about halfway, but uh, we're not completely done yet. And like I said before, I'm just going to start skipping and showing you the things that you need to be shown. So sixty-three and twenty. So we're going to need more packies here. Uh, Pachycephalosaurus there, Triceratops, Truodon. So it's going to be Triceratops and him. Logistics and cheap expeditions. 
And we even want to do another one. What is the highest one? Eight. <clears throat> Go. Make this super fast. Okay, catch in a bit. All right, guys. So here we are again. We are back in the same position. And uh, we have 19 of 20 species target. My T-Rex died. And then a couple of my Triceratops died. So I have to replenish all of those. Uh, I wasn't sure if I told you this in the previous clip. But I just increased this area here to allow for the Patosaurus to sit there. As well as I created two more paddocks here. This paddock here with the Dryosaurus. And the Hyangosaurus right there. And uh, that's two more species. And then over here we've got the Chunkingosaurus uh, just doing one little, little enclosure there to get that species target. So now I'm about to release the uh, Velociraptor. But as you can see, my, my um, park rating is 3.2 stars on the bottom right. It's just because we had a storm. So I'm going to release these guys. At the same time, my rating should go up uh, because of the storm. So let's fast forward and have a look. Okay, guys. So... Um, I'm not going to say I figured it out. Um, I was missing something vital under the screen of Park Ready. Thanks to Shep on Discord. I'm giving a shout out to you here. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, I was looking at the appeal, which was way more than I needed. I was looking at the guests. Everything was 100% or there much, pretty much there much. Amenities were good. Ticket sales were good. But right there above the appeal, it says next star 2 million. So that is pretty much what I was not looking at the entire time. If I had known that, and then about two hours ago, I would have just put more amenities down. I put this one down right here, and it was full straight away. 350 or 350. So I know for a fact that when I go put uh, another amenity down here, that the, where they are full, the, it's going to skyrocket up to 2 million in two seconds. So let's just let's just watch this end bit here. So we've got shopping there. We can do food over here. We're going to do a big one, and it's probably going to pop like almost instantly, I would say. Uh, let's put it over here where it's still in line with the... Uh, with the uh, electricity and the second this is done it's going to skyrocket it <laughs> in two seconds uh, i can do them elsewhere as well down here although i'm not going to need to nope he's got a very little food down there actually uh, let's have a look over here what are these guys full almost if it's not full it's not going to work i put this this was full here shopping and bang i put that down i got 350 more so as you can see i've only got 12 less on that one now and 350 more there so it does overflow it does make it uh, well i've had it paused it does make it better in two seconds flat so we'll see now the profit i need is 1917 so it's going to be very very close we could just put another another drinks down here so there we have it guys i'm going to explain what i did uh from the stage where i got stuck um it was pretty straightforward thanks to jeff again jeff again for uh, giving me some hints, I could have done this easily be, uh, below four hours, but uh, sorry, below five hours. But um, uh, I'm going to take this knowledge and put it into the next one. So let me just show you quickly here. I want to pause this. For starters, my large amenities over here were all full. So I just popped in a medium amenity, amenity or a low amenity just to take up the overflow. As you can see here, it's 775. And then the shopping is 137 and over here it's at 772. So there's only three taken away from the shopping, but we've got 137 more guests there. So it's just to take over the overflow. And if you can't, if you don't have enough people in these amenities, like I had down here, I had these large amenities here, but I only had like 200 people, 150 people. All I did then was slap down a lot more of these towers to increase the popularity of this area. And of course, doing that without doing dinosaurs is pointless. So stucking up putting as many dinosaurs as you can in any of these paddocks even to the point over here where i was running out of space for them so i couldn't put any more in there but i did fill up all these paddocks which created people to come to this area uh, for the appeal of these over here and then in turn uh, spending money at the shops here which got me to go just over two million in the end so pretty much in summary it was making sure the paddocks that you have have maximum amount of dinosaurs in them and then from there having enough viewing platforms to view them and then from there having the amenities close by to actually get people to buy stuff and of course the hotels and those things are separate from this but guys if you want to join uh, if you want to join the discord group like I've been chatting the whole morning with my buddies online. Uh, we help each other with pictures and just discussions and stuff on the game. 
And there's lots more uh, challenge and Jurassic challenges coming up. You can email me from the description if you want to join that Discord group. Other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoy the content. It took a long time to get to, to do this, uh, almost two days. And I know it only says five and a half hours on the game, but it was close to two days of playtime because, of course, the pause button. But, guys, yeah, if you are enjoying the content, pretty please smash that like button for me, guys. It really helps the channel. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, just ask me or you can join the Discord group. So, guys, I'm going to get cracking on the next one right away. So, thank you so much for watching. Watching. I want to catch you on the next one.